suplex. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thoughts Can Anywhere. Coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas. This is the post-post Thanksgiving show. Hopefully, everybody has recovered from their trip to fan fix. I took naps yesterday. I don't know about anybody else, but I was napping all day yesterday. <laughs> I'm Aaron Phillips. I got the normal crew plus one today, which I'll introduce momentarily. Directly across from me on the other end of the head of the table, Mr. Matt Mullen. Acknowledge me. No, I haven't. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> We are number one. <laughs> to my right, the historian, Thomas Burnett. How are you? Well, how are you? Sitting in studio today as a special guest because she, she brought the, the admission ticket for us to celebrate today. Our dear friend, someone we have had on the show many times, we hear all the time, is Brandy Lowry. How are you, love? Good morning, guys. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Now, what, what ticket did she bring, Mr. Producer? I don't know if you can grab a quick shot of what's on the desk, but purposely being left to be introduced last. We love him, but we have no choice to because Liz pays us to. <laughs> um, today is the man's birthday, and we celebrate Woo! having Chief around. With that, he is simply known as, today we're going to call him the birthday boy, Chief. Hello, everyone, and thank you for all the birthday wishes so far and on behalf of the crew here is a birthday card from all of us here at thoughts count anywhere thank you thank our pleasure you. so uh what, what was that we were going to say <laughs> when, when you did oh we got a disclaimer oh, the, oh well, well, we, did you show the cake already i don't know if you meant, okay so we're going to oh, show the, the beautiful cake mind. but the disclaimer there's is, a disclaimer yes what objects you may not be what they seem <laughs> yeah <laughs> objects definitely are not what they seem to be Similar to what you would have on your mirror, <laughs> objects are closer. But, uh, yeah, this is uh, the imp- <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, fill in your own blanks if you'd like at this point. But it was not intended to be what it was. They're supposed to be balloons. And uh, we thank, uh, actually, we thank Brandy for picking that up for us to celebrate. Thanks for the floating penises. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought they would go well. I thought they'd go well with the Thrustbusters myself. Well, yes, th- there you go. <laughs> Everybody likes a Thrustbuster. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Nothing like fly- flying balls. But anyway, that's another story. So, um, but anyway, so we want to, seriously, um, okay. if you want to call in, we, we would love to hear you call in to wish Chief a happy birthday live. 702-329-6947. Press the number one to come into the studio. Good morning, Ronald. There you go. Good morning, Ronald. Hello, everyone. Happy Thank birthday. You, brother. Of course, you can message us through Twitter, as everybody seems to like to do as well. Hashtag thoughts count anywhere. Miss Jennifer's in the house. Jennifer, Miss Jennifer. Jennifer, he would not allow me to deliver your ga- your gift. I'll wait till you get here in December, <laughs> and you can deliver it yourself. <laughs> there you go. And that's, we'll have a belated celebration of your birthday when she's in town. We could do that. There you go. Seven zero two three two nine six nine four seven. If you're outside the United States and you want to wish Chief a happy birthday, or Ask us a question or participate in our conversation. one 855 And a special shout out to everybody listening right now on the Go Live Vegas mobile app. And you, do, and you people that want to disagree on Twitter, send it in so Matt can get uh, fired up today. What is, the, what is the, the tweet for you? At TCA702. There you go. Matt Hashtag is, keyboard warrior. I dare you. There you go. <laughs> Matt is just waiting, waiting, waiting for people to go at him. There's uh, an old saying, no balls, no blue chips. There, <laughs> there you go. All right, real quickly. Brandy, how was your week? Uh, it's been better, but. We, we love you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it we wasn't know a good week, but I lo- love all the support I've gotten. Know that you're loved, young lady. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate you. And you're here with us. Exactly. Tells me you need a life. But anyway, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas, how was your week? Busy, busy, yep. busy, busy. Any more lighter fluid leaks or anything? Thank God, no. There you go. I got to right. put it back out in the universe. Yeah, shut up, Albertsons, <laughs> please. Shut up, Matt. I need the, stories. There's William <laughs> from TRC. Happy birthday, Chief. Thank you, my brother. <clears throat> Mr. Chief, how was your week, though, since we last convened? Did you do anything special for your birthday yet? I know it's today. Do you have plans today? Gosh, or? I didn't know. 
No, just a Are normal day me? on the calendar for yeah. you? Mm-hmm. It's just another day. All right. But so, uh, listen, you it know, is only it, a number. Another I mean, day that you've been announcing all year. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's it's okay. When you've had like two hundred of them, hey, it just gets. It's it's like it's, it's, it's like mom uh, said this morning. Be prepared. Well, it's like mom said this morning. Well, Brandy put out happy birthday in that you're seventy years old. I said, so what? She said, well, seventy. I said, that's a woman's thing. I don't worry about the <laughs> that's number. Right. That's yeah. right. We don't care about yeah, numbers. Age is only a that. number. That's it. Right. I still. I still got enough, as the doctor used to say to me, I still have enough piss and vinegar in me. I'm going to be around for a while. I can still slide under the bottom <laughs> rope into the ring. Yeah, you can. And you still swing a mean kendo stick. Matt, how was your week, yes. sir? It was good. Just full of idiots on Fremont Street as usual. Well, nice segue because you know what time it is, Chief. Story time with Matt. It is now story time. Story time. Story time. Matt Long. But six we got a six good one. minutes in, and boy, we lost it. <laughs> we lost it before the show even started. I'm it sorry was kind about. of funny yesterday. There was these three bums that are always around. They're always like super drunk. So I was telling them to get lost, and the one guy decided to get brave, and he was like staggering around. And I was like, "Dude, just get out. I'm not in the mood today." And I see his finch clinching up, clinching up, and I was like, "Do you really think you're gonna do something?" And he swings as hard as he possibly can. And I kind of just moved to the side. And he was so drunk that his momentum just like threw him to the ground and he landed on his head and knocked himself out. Oh, Ooh. no. Talk about a self-inflicted wound. Holy cow. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, he knocked himself out. So yeah. concussion for sure. Oh, yeah. Blood when he hit? Yeah. Wow. I had to call like medical and Metro and Metro was like, what happened? And I was like, dude, he did that shit himself. He took himself out. <laughs> I was like, I didn't do it. <laughs> He and I was like, here's the up. video. And they were like, once he woke up, they were like, you're a freaking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> then he was sent to the hospital and I'm sure he's fine, but yeah. hopefully he's sobered up and he's got a good headache. Yeah, there you go. And this was what day? Yesterday. Yesterday. Now he probably still has a good headache for a day or two at least. I hope so. There you go. I'll serve him right. All right. Hey, what is here? We get to it. It is time now for I Hear Voices. As... <laughs> reported. Why? I'll give him credit. What it's his birthday. Do now? No, you didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Guilty conscience has no accusers, Chief. I'm, I'm trying. As previously reported here in Thoughts Count Anywhere by a certain birthday boy, he did share with us that Randy Orton did have lower back surgery, fusion surgery, which is going to keep him out of action for a long period of time. But there are rumors backstage that this may be it. He may not be able to return at all. And thousands and thousands of RKOs will kind of do that to you, I suppose. That's when he started saying that, Matt. Uh, what what do you think? How do you think the landscape of WWE will change permanently when and if Randy does decide if he can't come back forever? I think it would definitely suck if he can't come back. I'd like to see him at least. I sure he might like retire like for a while, but like the wrestling world goes three or four years down the line. Who knows? Right. But I don't think we've seen the last RKO out of Randy Orton. Okay, I I would hope so. I want to see him go out on his own terms, at least. Every every athlete should. Chief? I would hope that uh, if he can't come back, that the uh, five-year rule would be waived and he goes directly into the Hall <coughs> of Fame. What five-year rule? I was going to say, <laughs> this is a Major League Baseball. I, don't I think... was just checking to see if you all was damn awake. Did you see the look on all of that's our things? Well, hey, I got, I it's like rules. the 30-day uh, yeah. uh, challenge yeah. rule that's disappeared. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> way disappeared. Yeah, That's right. Thomas, your thoughts on Orton? It'll suck if he's done for good, but he'll be back. Words, Brandy, I'm going to ask you this question about Orton. In the modern era, which we defined here on this show, 90s to current, where does Randy Orton sit if you were to rank him? In, in Let's say, would he be in your top 10, top 5, oh, top yeah. 20? Where, I would, would put him, him in top 5 at least. Top 5? Yeah, he, he's one of them superstars that just has transcended and change, you know, changed with the times and... He's good for all the younger ones coming in, too. So it'll be sad to see if he doesn't come back. Okay, that's right. Do you guys agree with that? Top 10 yeah. for sure? He's definitely over Bruno San Martino. <laughs> Boy, I teed that one up, didn't I? <laughs> you did. Randy Orton <laughs> circles around him three times over. 
Chief, it's your birthday. I just want to see him turn a headlock. Word. You're gonna find a word on that. I'd love to see him turn his signature headlock into an RKO. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> Rumor is. Oh my goodness. Rumor <laughs> is uh, after heavy speculation, The Rock will not be at Royal Rumble. What right. what would be the benefit of him being at Royal Rumble when he's being built so heavily for? WrestleMania. I guess to start the build to Ro- with Roman, I guess, but you don't even be at the Rumble for that. No. No, yeah. I like read that and I was like, yeah, I don't even see him showing up at the Rumble. I could see him showing up at like the main event, like right. if like Roman does something like crazy. Right, just come out on stage. Just to come out on stage yeah. and just like confront him, but <laughs> I don't think he's going to be in the Royal Rumble match at all or anything. Thorns on Twitter at Mirror Glaze says, good morning, weirdos. Yes. Well, she knows us well. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. <laughs> No, I uh, I really don't want him to show up. A Royal Rumble? No. Okay. Because I don't want him to get hurt before WrestleMania. Would you be okay, like Matt suggests, maybe at the end of the main event, he no, just comes no, out and no, stands at the top and no, then walks back no, in? No, no, no appearance no, at all? No. He, okay. Because he, he's liable to trip and fall. <laughs> no. Rub, uh, wrap him in bubble wrap. No. Right on him. No. No. <laughs> now, if he's, now, if he's with Johnny Knoxville, well, that's a different story. Oh, fuck you. Anyway, <laughs> Brandy, <laughs> Brandy said she'll, she'll, she'll be happy to have the rock land on her to protect him. So. Yeah, I know. Thomas, your thoughts? Yes, no? Survive? Well, I already, I already went, but yeah. Oh, right, right. You did? Yeah. Uh, see, Chief's got me all worried now. He, he's got me knocked up. He's got me knocked up now. I'm so. Do you feel like a like that jackass? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've been trapped like a mouse. <laughs> Just wait. Rumor is Jonah, formerly known as Bronson Reed, is a lock to return to WWE. I'm glad you put that in there so I don't sound stupid this week. Oh, who's Jonah? Is that what you're gonna yeah, say? Remember. Was he the guy? Was he the guy with the whale? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was definitely one of the more shocking releases when that happened. I yeah. was like, I thought this guy was going to be like a big deal. You know, I want I want to say something seriously. Oh God, no, no, it's Just all kidding, good. Kidding. I, I really, Go for it. you know, I really think Vince um, made a mistake by releasing a lot of what I think are quality wrestlers that are coming back to the WWE now. And I'm glad to, you know, if they if the WWE's making amends with them or it's Triple H and Steph uh, and maybe Sean, uh, I'm glad to see it. I'm really glad to oh, see there, it. There definitely a lot of, a lot of uh, great talent was released that we all were surprised with. Uh, everybody from Bray Wyatt, oh, even though he's back, but at that time, Bray Wyatt, even yeah. Braun Strowman at the time, <laughs> A lot of the names, the guys from NXT, like you're referencing. And I, I think Triple H is making amends for those errors because right now it's proven to be smart because they're making back money with these people coming back, which is the concern budget wise they had when they were released that they wanted to make the budget look better. I don't know so much as it was Vince, obviously, it's Vince's final call. But one thing we haven't talked about this is Nick Khan's alley of making companies look good dollars and cents wise on paper. Mm-hmm. And he had to have gone through the books and said, look, this one, this one, and this one, they're costing us X amount of dollars, whatever, blah, 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 blah. My recommendation is these people, we don't need it, especially during the pandemic. And maybe I, I'm not sure how much Nick Khan, you know, really did or did not play in that role, submitting names to Vince to consider. But now they're all, now the majority of them are all back. So Understood. Now it doesn't make any sense. But that's because, Vin, but the thing is, is that Vince is not in place to not to be involved to stop that. So Triple H and Stephanie... They're the ones making it happen to bring it back. I wonder how many dirty looks Nick Khan gets weekly backstage <laughs> from all those people. Yeah, right. So let He's me, probably not even there. So let me ask the question. With, with saying that Nick Khan presented a list, a final mm-hmm. list. And I'm only speculating. No, no, that's I'm, all. Ju- I'm yeah. just saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I am too, by mm-hmm. what I'm going to say. Okay. Uh, if he did propose or present a list to Vince, mm-hmm. and Vince had final say on it, mm-hmm then is Nick Khan just more of a yes, yes man and uh, doesn't really know the business? No, I don't, I don't think that's he necessary. Might know the well, business. He's grown up, he grew up as a wrestling fan, so he's like us. He, he enjoyed it this way. But remember what Nick Khan was hired to do. He was hired to come in basically be the CFO. 
They didn't give him that title, but he's the money man. Right, right. So he's the money man. So he's looking a lot of times at bottom bottom lines. Granted, you know, he's there, he's watching the matches and merchandising and whatnot. But part of that, remember, everybody's always said merchandising, butts and seats, is really what and, and the WWE has made it known in all those quarterly calls that Vince always had that the biggest money comes in in merch. So if I were Nick Khan and I've got guys who, though, are great in presence in the ring, like a Jonah, we'll use him as an example since it seems like it's a foregone conclusion. What if he's a hundredth on the merchandise list, even in NXT, and the company's not making money on his merchandise if that's where the majority of their money comes in? Nick Khan's mind saying, well, why would I keep him in the company if he's not benefiting us in terms True. of merchandise? Yeah, he may be putting butts in seats, but we rely on merchandise. Yeah, you know, I'm, that's a good point. Yeah, I don't know. If that's its logic, how did he try to explain getting rid of Bray Wyatt? He was like one, two, and three on. Yeah, top but that of. was. But I think we're agreed that was more creative and maybe more of a headbutting direct with Vince. Yeah. Was creative. I don't know if that was so much. And, you know, and Vince. I think uh, I think a mutual friend of all of ours <laughs> definitely uh, uh, sold merch. Absolutely, and uh, was let totally, go totally. But they messed him up by the call up. Mm-hmm. That was what messed him up. Yeah. And of course, we're talking about uh, uh, Karrion Cross. Cross. NXT. He was lights out. Him and Scarlet. Lights out. Yeah. Okay, comes up to the main roster. We all know what happened at the main roster. Mm-hmm. They brought him up to bury him. Plain and simple. You don't yeah. lose to, Matt, uh, to uh, Jeff Hardy, you know, when you've yeah. got this buildup in NXT, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But now, Triple H, right it or wrong. Right, Brandy? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy that that, was, that right it was wrong. Right, wrong, right. Yeah. That was good. You got to pay attention because you'll never know when I'll ask you for I, something. Yeah. All right. Hey, listen, guys, we're up I our first. Thought you forgot about no, never, never. Thanks, Brandy Merrick. We're going to go to break right now. As you see on the desk, uh, we're going to be celebrating Chief's birthday today. It's the happy birthday celebration edition of TCA on behalf of our man, Chief. Call in 702-329-6947. Press 1 if you want to wish him a happy birthday. Direct on the line. Of course, happy birthdays are filling in on the chat. We'll share accordingly. Thank you for watching. Don't go anywhere. we got more to come right after this. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long running Vegas Unwrapped radio show and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. I need you to check out the podcast, Thoughts Count Anyway. This is the essential character, EC3, on behalf of my dear friends and Thoughts Count Anyway. The podcast for your mind, when you need deep thinking about all things sports and entertainment. Hello, this is Martin Casals, aka Marty the Mod, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. Enjoy! <laughs> this is Impact Wrestling's. Dash and Chris Bay, the ultimate finesse, former finesse division champion, and you're listening to Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Y'all watching this. This is my new tag team partner, Steve-O, a.k.a. Zeus, from the hit movie Friday, and from No Holds Bar. Hi, I'm Sean Tavari. Listen to Thoughts Count Anywhere for all your wrestling news. Hey, what's going on? This is Axe, and I'm smashing the demolition. And we want to invite you to watch every Saturday morning, Thoughts Count Anywhere. Vegas Studios, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. 
Hey guys, it's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. Hey, welcome back to the celebration. Today is Chief's birthday. This is the happy birthday, Chief edition of Thoughts Count Anywhere. Coming to you live from the Go Live Vegas studios in the heart of Las Vegas, Nevada. By the way, just in case you have been sleeping under a rock, December 9th. What event is it? UW Dub 3. Will be where? At the House of Blues, Mandalay Bay. UWWEvents.com is the website for all your information. They still have a contest going on, by the way. It, right there on the screen as you see it, you need to share the posts you see on social media. You share it. Every post that you make on the different social medias, take it to that landing page and click on it and what it'll do is it'll ask you where you shared and you will be entered into a chance to win a box seat for i think it's six people but more yeah. importantly a private meet and greet with tessa blanchard tessa will come up to the box take pictures and stuff with you so share 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 go back to uwwevents.com click on that box that jumps up there your name your email where you post it because it will be monitored they have the way to check where you're sharing it to verify your entry. Now, Chief, big card. Share with us what we got. Tickets start at $24.50. And it's a family event, by the way. It is. And the first the first one will be Zara versus Vipress. Then we got Rochelle Riveter versus Ashley Dambrose. Then we got a three-way. We got Alice Blair, Zita <laughs> Zhang, and our own Maserati. <laughs> and I screwed up somewhere, but that's okay. Uh, then we got Renee Michelle versus Katie Forbes. This is one I'm looking forward to. Danny B versus Christy James for the Nevada State title. Then we go into the tag team title match. The Renegade Twins versus the Vanity Twins. The USA title match is up next. Mm -hmm. Santana Garrett versus my favorite, Lady <laughs> Tapa. I'm predicting Lady Tapa will win that match, but I'm probably wrong. And then we got the special Bias. feature match. Two out of three falls. Miranda Elise. Alize. Versus Alize. 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 Uh, Elise versus <laughs> Tessa Blanchard. It's Chief's birthday. I can say what the hell I want. Fair enough. M Miranda Elise <laughs> versus Tessa Blanchard. And where is it, Chief? The House of Blues, Mandalay Bay, start time 7.30, I believe. Meet and greet 6.30 outside, and tickets start at 24.50. Also, too, something that we have not mentioned all that often, and that's, that is much falls on my shoulder, there is a toy drive that night as well. Bring an unwrapped new toy, uh, unwrapped new toy unopened to the event. All donations are going to an organization here in town called Kids Uplifting Kids. They are an organization that are supporting the foster children here in Las Vegas. So they are the, going to be the recipients. You can check them out, Kids Uplifting Kids. That's a Z on each of the words, dot org to learn more. Bring a gift, add it to the toy drive, because the foster kids need our help every day of the year, but more importantly, at this time of year for the holidays. All right. Did you see what they're doing for the toy drive, too? They're picking somebody before the first match that donates, and yes. they're upgrading their tickets. That's correct. That, that's thank you for for reminding me of that. So bring bring a toy, you get your tickets upgraded. So every reason to be there. And and Matt, you shared during break that tickets are going right. They're yeah, being tickets sold are pretty going rapidly, pretty quick. Right. And so I, get, I, I forgot, Chief Chief will be signing autographs <laughs> that night. I forgot to tell you at the meet and greet in the bathroom. Anyway, Brandy. <laughs> I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> and, a free, and a free workout video. Yeah. <laughs> and a free Lonely Fans membership. Brandy, what, you're going to be there at UW3, right? Of course. Uh, oh, look. Work, my hand is work in the way. permitting. I did win tickets, but work permitting right now, I, I'll so be there. Under the presumption you will be there, what match are you looking most forward to for UW3? Um, the Chief versus you. I thought this was a women's show. <laughs> He's in drag. They have something to explain. <laughs> <He'll be> <laughs> Nathan Lane will be the guest referee. It's 2022, Chief. It's never too late. Exactly. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually excited for the, the USA Championship match and the two out of three falls. I always enjoy seeing Tessa r wrestle. So. Okay. And I, and, and I, wanna, I don't want to take this too lightly. The championships that are being on the, uh, the card, the three of them, hey, this these are history making. <laughs> yes, Because this are. is the first time for this organization they're going to be crowning champions. This mm -hmm. is the first champions for all three of these titles and that's history it is you know what we 
I want to enlighten you, everybody. We have wrestlers that have wrestled NWA. We have wrestlers that have wrestled Impact. We've had wrestlers that have wrestled WWE that are on this card. We've had, there's wrestlers here that wrestled Shimmer, wrestled in Japan. This, you know, this, this isn't a joke. This is not an indie event per se. Hell no. This, the, these main events here, okay, any of them, any of these wrestlers could go anywhere. The Renegade Twins been on Impact. Top is run AEW. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Dark a couple T- times. And Tessa. I mean, you know, come on, folks. Where have we seen Tessa wrestle? Where have we seen Santana Garrett wrestle? How about Christy mm-hmm. James? Christy's Christy was just on NWA two weeks ago. Bottom line is, folks, get your tickets for this event simply because of the fact. Um, I can actually, we can actually answer that. Okay. Hello. Uh, <laughs> sorry. It's one uh, of the few Vegas events you don't got to go through the hood to get to it, too. Correct. And it's a family <laughs> event, and prices are reasonable at twenty four fifty for general admission. Yeah. Now, if you go on the site, there are going to be other tickets available. Chloe Ramona Kitty 4 on Twitter at Phoebe, what the hell? Phoebe Bridge Jazz. <laughs> she, asks, she asks, has anyone ever had sex wearing the WWE Championship belt? Now, before we hold on, hold on, hold on. The closest one that I remember in, in story, and you guys all, I'm just going to mention the names Paige and Alberto Del Rio. If you guys remember the video, there was yeah. a little sex capade where they did something with the belt that he won when he was champion. Yeah. I know you don't remember. You're looking at me like you don't recall. Do you Paige recall? Paige and Del Rio? Uh-huh. There was Paige and Brad Maddox and Xavier Woods. Maybe, and okay, okay, maybe that's okay. <laughs> well, but they were with, didn't, okay, but it, that was those three. But yes, okay, that was that. But the belt was there, right? There was Brad a, Maddox's DNA was on that belt. That's right. <laughs> you recall it, right, Brandy? Yes, I believe so. Okay. I think Sammy Guevara and Tay Conte did it with their title, too. Wow. But she was, this person was just asking about WWE, but I think you're right. I, I think Brandy's yeah. right with the A. She's so like, the AEW belts has also been besmirched. The TNT, <laughs> yeah, the TNT champions have right. been besmirched. Right, it's yeah. been besmirched. So yeah. I don't, you know, I, Chief, are you pondering? Maybe, thinking maybe s- that's why Medusa threw the damn belt <laughs> in the garbage can. <laughs> It wasn't probably sanitized. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> I bet you every champion's done it like low key that hasn't. If they got to take it home, there's no way somebody yeah. didn't do something. You know, Sean probably did a lot of stuff in 96 with that belt. <laughs> anyway. Val Venus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, as we're talking about Val Venus, uh, happy birthday, Chief. Disclaimer, no. that is not what that was intended to be at the top of the Hopefully cage. Hopefully they're not life-size either. There was, <laughs> for who? Venus? <laughs> Val Venus? Anybody. Oh, anybody. Okay. Well, George Costanza had a problem after getting out of the pool, if you remember that episode. It was cold. It was cold. I was in the pool. Anyway. It was really cold in the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get to a couple of WWE items before we go to the rant. What the hell's that? Uh-oh. What is he? What is? What is? Eh, don't is worry, but don't ignore him. Don't, don't worry about it. It's nothing. It's just okay. a closed caption on his. Oh, closed caption. Yeah, okay. yeah. Ignore it. All right, you guys want to? Let's do the predictions for war games after Chiefs rant. What do you think about that? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So let's start with WWE. Reggie was repackaged on NXT as scripts under a mask. Mm. I didn't see it, so I don't know. But I mean. He looked pretty cool, and he's super yeah. athletic, and maybe a right push for him could do something good besides a 24-7 title that's no more. That's right. Thank and God. We, and we saw that uh, Akira Tozawa last week. He mm-hmm. put his, his uh, ninja, ninja stuff on the bed. Thank you. But apparently he was back into his normal ring gear on yeah. what was it, main event or... or Unraw. Uh, Unraw. So yeah, he bleach, wasn't leaving. Please blonde hair again. Well, that, that's all right. Yeah, that's he's, right. he's good. Yeah, he's in a feud with JBL and Corbin. So we'll see what we'll see what. At least he's got a storyline, <laughs> a real one. So just running around. Imagine uh, Corbin being a wrestling god and turning into oh, you're feuding with Tazawa. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, cheer star Gabby Butler signs a contract with WWE, and I'm going to ask Brandy this question. Who? Br- right, exactly. <laughs> see, you answer before I get in. I have no idea who this is. What is Cheer? Is that a movie, a TV show? What no, she's a cheerleader. It's a documentary on, on Netflix, and apparently she's got a ton of charisma and very athletic, so 
Of if course, they play Thomas so would know true. that. Right <laughs> all wrestlers. The historian. That's what happened. Well, right, but did she sign one of those? He's NIL? like, I was watching for historical purposes. <laughs> I promise. Cheerleaders can be wrestlers. Well, oh, yeah. There, aren't there a couple already that were have that background? Yeah. There's plenty of gymnasts. Right, well, that were. Well, we got a phone call. We have a phone call calling in before we go to the rant, and I know exactly who this is. This is none other, and we welcome her to TCA, our dear friend out in Hawaii, Miss Jennifer McCord. Good morning, Miss Jennifer. Hi. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. 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 What's up? Well, I just wanted to call in and wish uh, the chief a very happy birthday. Thank you, my dear. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. A hundred thank yous. How's, uh, how's Hawaii and uh, how's uh, school going? Everything's great. Um, the sun just uh, came out, I guess, <laughs> sunrise, and it's beautiful here. Yes. And then school is going uh, great, and I'm excited to go on my big trip next month. We're looking forward to having you in the studio when you get here, my dear. It'll be so nice to see all of you, and uh, once again, I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Ms. Jennifer, as always. We appreciate you and love you. Love you guys. Take care. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. That's Bye. a good, we'll stop right there because that gives us a little bit of a break as we get ready for the Chiefs rant. Now, given it's his birthday, I don't know which direction he's going to go, if it's going to be a cheery rant, a rascally rant, rant but uh, nonetheless, it's now time for the Chiefs rant. Don't Jerry Lawler yourself. <laughs> you're, you're going to the other <laughs> All right. Hey, good morning, folks. It's the Chief. My three minutes of fame. It's your birthday. I'll give you four today. I don't care. I'll take five <laughs> if I want it. Anyway, I want to get started with uh, a comment, and I made this comment to Thomas in the car this morning. Uh, watching... Uh, Jericho's match the other night and the chops he took and his chest getting all bloody my first thinking was looking at his chest I said to myself God I I hope he's not on blood thinners because <laughs> it I mean as soon as he got chopped it started bleeding enough of that now on to the serious one we have a good friend and a professional wrestler that has wrestled in the WWE and is a trainer out here in Las Vegas at FSW. You might know him as Kazarni. You might know him as Sin Bodhi. But I'm going to tell you what. I hope to hell I find a son of a bitch that stole all of his LJN figures and other things out of his house this oh, past damn. week. Oh, no. Because... You don't do that, folks. You just don't do it. It's wrong. Sin doesn't even know I'm talking about it. I have, I didn't even clear it with him, but it got me so mad. Riled up. Uh, yeah, thank you, because I, I was going a different direction. It's your birthday. Breathe, breathe. Yes. Um, anyway, all his one-of-a-kind LJNs that he had, that he's made himself that he sells they were all stolen every freaking one of them. plus i understand other things now folks professional wrestling is a profession it's sports entertainment we can call it what we want but you know the average person who is a professional wrestler they don't make a lot of money. If you're fortunate enough to make it to the big stage, the WWE, AEW, et cetera, et cetera, New Japan, you make some money, okay? But once it's over, then you gotta go out and basically, you're either gonna be a commentator, you're gonna be backstage help, or you may even work a nine to five job. And you know what? Bottom line, this family here, we have each other's back. 
we've g I've got sins back. I hope to. Guy, uh, <laughs> you can say it. I hope to. Ha I want to find the son of a bitch, and when the time comes that he is found, uh, who knows what will happen. Justice will prevail. We'll just leave thank, it at that. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. That, that's a good way of putting it. So I'm going I'm to say this. I'm going to end it on this, folks. It's Thanksgiving time. It's Christmas time coming up. Love each other. As, as my man here says at the end of every show, the show. Be kind to everybody. Why is that? We're all we have. That's the Chiefs rant over and out. Which, by the way, you can buy that shirt on Aaron's <laughs> under the <laughs> shop tab, courtesy of Matt. But you're right. Cheap I mean, plug. No, of course. Um, you, Matt, uh, Chief, you're 100% you're correct. I mean, you're, you're, you're focusing on one incident that hits home. And yeah. unfortunately, things like that happen probably every day, every 10 seconds or whatever mm -hmm. some crazy number is. It doesn't, it doesn't make it right mm -hmm. to happen at all to anybody. But when something like this hits home, when the items taken are not just a stereo or TV or something like that, and that may have been some of the stuff that went, but when you're talking about stuff that's part of a private collection that's been handmade and that's really is priceless, yep. you're not talking about a TV that you go back out and the insurance company can give you money and replace. These are sp specific items that whoever it was, if that's all that was taken for the majority, again, I don't know what else was taken, and I, I'm not asking. I don't need But if, if that was either, part of it, People, somebody had to have known what was in there, I would think, to I'm, know that there would be some value to it. And shame on them. I just hope they're stupid enough that they try to pawn them or something. I, I, listen, I'm sure, I, I shouldn't say I'm sure, I hope that they have some sort of security system, even if it was Ring or something. Hopefully there's leads. Um, oh, yeah, Jennifer bought, bought my same How shirt. much did Thank you pay you, her to buy it? I'm not telling. <laughs> How much is it online? This could turn into like an epic story time with Matt next week because oh, the yeah. thieves that steal toys are stupid. Right. And every time they seem to do it, I know all the toy owners. So like any time there's like a Point theft, shot. we all tell each other. Yep. They all tell each other yep. so to keep an eye out. Hey. And the last it? couple have ended up at my work. So we literally just locked them into the store and Jeez. called Metro and... Like right. somebody broke into like Rogue Toys that's up the street, and right. then they went over to the other one to try to sell it. And one sure. guy even broke into Johnny, who owns the Toy Shack yep. storage yep. locker, and tried to sell him his own stuff back. Jeez. <laughs> it's, it's like dumb America's dumbest dumb. criminals around yeah. here, I swear. Well, I think criminals on any level are dumb for, mm -hmm. for a lot of different reasons. I'll just leave it at that. Um, you know, and there's different levels of criminality. I mean, it doesn't make it right. Jaywalking to what happened. And by the way, to all the families out in Chesapeake, Virginia, yes. we want to send our heart thought condolences and, and prayers to everybody out there affected by that. Um, that Walmart was about 30 minutes, 30 miles from my, where my daughter lives in Norfolk. Oh, wow. So my wife and I woke up to a message the next morning. Before you look at the news, everything is okay. All right. Well, that certainly well, sends like, a oh, shot. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but be that as it may, I mean, you've got, you've got things that go on. And I realize we, we've been talking about it on the round table and we've talked about it here. Seasonal depression, mental well. I'm going to say, I saw, I'd like to say mental wellness. I don't want to say illness. We need mental wellness for a lot of people. And we know things happen. People get desperate ever since the, 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 uh, 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 the COVID shutdown and, and the pandemic. And you can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. All of that stuff. People's mindsets have changed. And, and Brandy, I mean, you're, you're in the community a long time. You've probably seen some stuff. I mean, you work in the casino industry. There's probably some stories that, that you've seen people that are desperate and, and read things as well where within, your, within your business. Oh, very much so. It's, it's a very changed time. And uh, you, you mentioned Chesapeake. You want to bring up Colorado Springs as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Yep. You know, Absolutely. It, it just, it's a sad, sad time for people. So like you say, be kind to one another. You know, it's, it's just interesting, and I, and I hate to say this, I put this post out there after the shooting in, in Virginia, but this whole week, the last week, just seems like every day there's been a reporting of a mass shooting. Every flipping mm -hmm. day, like, uh, like Brandy mentioned. And by the way, thoughts and prayers out to those up in Colorado that were affected by the shooting at the uh, club up there. Um, is, is it just me, no. or does it just seem like every day shootings it, it are does. happening? Now, granted, unfortunately, bad news is what sells. Yeah. That's why, like, the, the fireman saving the cat at the top of the tree is always the last 30 seconds of a newscast. Yep. Yeah. Or is that real, when we had newspapers, <laughs> that real teeny tiny box 
buried somewhere in the middle of an ad. Um, but the guy was in Chesapeake. You know, he bought the gun legally. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you guys read that. He bought the gun legally hours before he went into the store, had no criminal background. He felt he was being harassed. So this is where you question maybe bullying, but we don't know all the sides. And took somebody to the brink after only being there for five days as a manager. Five days. It's a sad state of affairs, and it's very disheartening to, to know what's going on, not only here in the U.S., but really all around the world for all these type of events that we don't hear about. Mm-hmm. And it's sad. It's very sad for our, for our world, not just our country. I'm you sorry, know, I'll get off my soapbox. No, no. <laughs> you know to bring, to bring, it, bring it home. Yes. Um, if I didn't know sin, and as, as we do, he's one, he's one of the nicest fellas. Yep. Mm-hmm that I, I've had the privilege of meeting in the wrestling industry. And for this, you know, for this to happen, um, you know, it hits home. And uh, it, this one bothers me because I just hope, um, you know, I hope as things are found and returned and... Uh, we can get on with life. Absolutely. All right. Speaking of which, let's change gears before we go back to our run sheet here. You know, what time, you know what time it is? It's time to give away a pair of tickets to where? UW3. Dub dub a little delay there. <laughs> There's a three-second delay. Anyway. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> so, My teeth were starting to slide <laughs> out. <laughs> First caller to call in. No chat room answers. No Twitter answers. No YouTube answers. You must call in to receive a pair of tickets. Now, if you win a pair of tickets, you want to give them away to somebody else that lives in Vegas, you can't make it, that's cool. We just need the name so I can get them on the list for a pair of tickets. And here, 702-329-6947, Happy birthday, Chief, from our Desert Shark hey, friend. Thank you, Shant. Appreciate it, and uh, congratulations on the 5K run, brother. Absolutely. In all seriousness, if you've won tickets at all this period that we've been giving away tickets, you are disqualified from winning another set. Okay? So if you've already won, thank you. We'll see you on the 9th. Damn it. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) So, all right, here's the question. Mr. Historian, go for it. How old is Chief today? Uh, Please repeat it for those who may not have heard it. How old is Chief today? First caller, 702-329-6947, wins a pair of tickets to UW3 on the 9th. Call in now. I got to run to my car and grab something. <laughs> I've never Chief won said so. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. How old, oh, how old and, or young is Chief today? 702-329-6947. By the way, we're hoping, we don't know for sure, we don't know what time, but we're hoping that the general manager of UWW, um, Ms. Jennifer Santana, will have an opportunity to call in before we go off the air you to chat for a few blew minutes. It. I almost did. <laughs> I absolutely did. I oh, absolutely did. And a pr- and and, and I, I do have a, uh, one more thing that I, w- I want to say. Um, at the close of our show last week, uh, th- this this young buck over here to my Who? to my Who? left. Who? Who? He thought he was stepping up into the Chiefs' world. <laughs> well, it did pretty good, though. It worked because <laughs> a lot of people really thought that we were pissed at each other. Man, the message is like, God's like, back off, Chief, they said. Was that real? Were you really mad at him? But I did say something at the end of the show, though, uh, that, you know, it was it all. W- it was good. That's right. It was good. I don't know, maybe, maybe one week you and I will switch chairs and I'll play you, you play me, and we'll really have fun for two hours. You'll never be me. I could try. Never happen. I, you never know There's what only I'm one to chief. say. That, that's <laughs> it's a little honoring, a little confused. It's a fun. lot confused. Well, <laughs> when, like his, like his, when he reads his birthday card, he'll understand why the, the top of the card is very fitting <clears throat> to, to just that. All right. We're going to go to break. So after the break... Come on, folks. you got to call in so we can give away this pair of tickets to UW3. How old or young is Chief today? After break, call 702-329-6947. Press 1. With that, we're going to – I just woke up our producer. I've only been, I've only been <laughs> saying before we go to break, call us. I've been giving you a lead time. They did. So at this point, fuck you. Run the commercials. They did. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have 70 candles. She was afraid to bring in the burn 
the studio. Oh, okay. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You. Stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! This is John Cena. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much, congratulations, and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere, because they do. Go Live Vegas Studios, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. All right, Come welcome on. back to Thoughts Can Anywhere. It's Real quickly, we, we want to send our heart thought support <laughs> to our good friend Scott Hose. He's over at Tuscany. There's a card show over there that he's at yesterday and today. He's a big Wolverine fan. And yes, by the way, I did pay my bet to him at Unicon. I treated him to lunch, and actually his wife was there. Did so you go I to took McDonald's? No, we went outside to the food trucks there. They were actually very good. Oh, the food trucks outside? Yeah, the yeah, they yeah, were, they were good. good. Yeah. So Amy was with them, and I said, come on, I'll treat you both to lunch. So I took them both to you lunch to make my dad. story? Can I finish mine first? No. So no. while Scott is out there, oh, he posted okay. not to... Don't, no. t don't, don't reach out to him between 9 and 12 because the game, he's watching it. Well, hopefully we'll get it I'm put on here in the studio. See if he's available. Yeah, I'm call so in the meantime, here's a score update. If you are recording it or taping it or don't want to know the score, put your fingers in your ears or turn down the volume for five seconds. But Ohio State is up 7-3 with about, what, by now probably under five minutes to go in the first probably quarter. 5-15. 5-15 in the first quarter. So, um, so you can take your fingers back in yeah. your ears right now. So we're testing to see his theory if he'll actually answer the phone at this point. But while Chief is hey, doing we, that. I was just checking to see if you would answer your phone between 9 and speaker. 12. Put, Put him on speaker. speaker. Chief, don't know anyway, to anyway, I just wanted to check to see. You, you put the post out about 9 to 12, and being it's my birthday today, I figure I'll be a smart ass to call you up. Although I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you and you are live on the on the uh, on the set right now, sir. Lovely. So, like I said, somebody better be dead there that I have to come rescue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, we right. love we love you. Right about now, it should be should be your Wolverines that need rescuing. Probably getting yeah. yeah. so. yeah. hung up on us exactly. He's an F you. All right. Let's get to it. Let's talk about Survivor Series since that's the big premium live event, as I still will call them, pay-per-views. All right, let's go to Brandy. Brandy, what are your thoughts on the Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Austin Theory triple threat for the United States Championship? Uh, Seth is going to win. Seth I don't change? see them taking them, the title off him right now. Okay, what do you think about Theory's new character change? Uh, I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, he, I think he was in dead water with that cash in the case stuff. So, and the, it him cashing it in for the U.S. title has kind of elevated him 
to something else and now he got this mean streak going on instead of so, trying to take my role as selfie king you know <laughs> i don't know what's wrong with people well you're the selfie queen he would yeah. be the selfie king no but, that's but not okay. anymore doesn't matter tyler breeze was pretty good at that because he had the uh yeah. selfie stick, stick the selfie yeah. stick doing it so all right so we have one for seth thomas going with rollins the lakes you saying there's no way they're taking that belt up him yet okay matt I definitely go Seth Rollins. I think that belt's like the new WWE title for Monday Night Raw because the other two are on SmackDown. Because the champion's never there, so right. between that and cashing in on the United States title, like put that title on like a different platform. Okay, Chief. We'll make it unanimous, Mr. Rollins. I agree. We're going to go unanimous all across the board on that match. Next match, we're talking about AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. Brandy. I'm going to go AJ. I think he needs a win. He's lost. Didn't we talk last week? He has yeah, some he hasn't stat. won a, he hasn't won he a, pay hasn't won a singles pay-per-view match in three years. Yeah, I think he needs a win. <laughs> and it's still going to build the feud more. So, Okay. Now, of course, this is going to be all the question about the, you know, the group uh, between these two guys. So anyway, Matt, your, your pick. I think it's going to be the match of the night most likely. And AJ Styles is going to win after a lot of interference. Uh, uh, on both sides, because yeah. we know he'll come down and rescue and support him for sure. Thomas? Oh, yeah. I'm going to go with Finn. Reason being what? Just curious. Judgment Day's like just really hot right now. That's what I was thinking, too. And, like, I can't see Finn losing right now. I, I could see this match almost being a push because of all yeah. the reasons we've talked about. Could end up in a, in a smalls, yeah. Uh, it, it could end up being thrown out. But I'm, I'm leaning more towards what you said with Finn Balor because of the Judgment Day and all that stuff going on. And I think that's kind of leading the pack because we're only getting innuendos of the Good Brothers mm-hmm. supporting AJ when he needs them, not as a true group yet. Mm-hmm. And I think that's going to be different because now we're going to have those factions go at probably the next pay-per-view. Chief, your thoughts? I'm going. I'm going with. Uh, I'm going with AJ. Okay. Okay. I, I agree with what Brandy said uh, and Matt both that uh, AJ. I think it's AJ's time. Okay. I, uh, After three years, it certainly should I, be. <laughs> I think you know. I, I think it's AJ's time, and uh, and he's been laying low the last couple of. Yeah. I'll say last year. We'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Ever since him and Amo separated, right? So let's let's give him a push. Okay, fair enough. I can go either way on this, but I still think Judgment Day and that faction, the just the whole concept. I like Thomas said, uh, we'll be in his corner. All right, Ronda Rousey versus Shotzi for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Eh. <laughs> is this your bathroom break match? This would be my bathroom ba- break match because okay. all it's going to be is a bunch of tugging on Rhonda's wardrobe and <laughs> and then, you know, how Rhonda's going to win. How do you really feel? Okay. Nah. Well, we know, we know Baszler's going to get involved, right? Yeah. Nah. Um, you know, they supposedly took out what's-her-name from last night with Renee, the arm. Renee Raquel. Gisales. Right, Raquel. So they, they hurt her arm even though she came out to try to help in the tag match. So. But then they injured her afterwards as well. Right, Matt. Unless they want to like push Raquel Rodriguez and she somehow cost Ronda the belt. Okay, that'd be the only way like Shotzi would win. But I would bet my house Ronda wins this match. Okay, Chief. My, my heart says Shotzi, but you know, but it's go, it's going to be Ronda. Are we There's going no over or under twenty on the wardrobe <laughs> pool? <laughs> <laughs> Always over. Always over. <laughs> Always over. <laughs> Ronda's winning. Well, let's make it easy. Let's just call it a one over under. Over for sure. That's yeah. a short bet. Ronda wins. They're setting up Ronda mm. versus Raquel. What I'm concerned about, though, is the Shotzi here. She really has not had a strong push of any kind since being mm. put up on the, on the roster. She disappeared. They took the tank away when they first brought her up. Yada, yada, yada. She was a heel, and they turned her face right. out of the blue for no reason. And so now they're turning her, twisting her. And I think in the, in the storyline of Rousey and Gonzalez... Obviously, she's being used as a pawn in yeah. here to further that storyline. And what does that yeah. do for Shotzi? Absolutely nothing, nothing. Right? Then she'll get stuck in the mid-card stuff again, and we'll forget about her. When, when does uh, – let's see. So, so we need somebody to come back and interfere on Shotzi's behalf. Could it be Charlotte Flair? Wouldn't you need more of a baby face, though? Shotzi's a face here. Wouldn't yeah, but, you need a face? Yeah, but Unless she's coming into screw Ronda. That's what he's, that's sa- that's what what he's saying. saying. Yeah, but then do we see Shotzi, though, wear the belt? No. I'm that's the only thing with she, with Charlotte possibly. Yeah. A one-night wonder. Yeah, they, oh. well, they, you they know how much heat you would get on Charlotte almost instantly if she was to take the belt off Shotzi in, like, days? Exactly. Yeah. 
By the way, we still have our trivia question. I can't believe we're still waiting for a winner here. You get a pair of tickets to UW Dub Three December 9th. Excuse me, who says that? Excuse well, me? he was busy looking at Matt and talking. So, <laughs> um, December 9th, call in now seven zero two three two nine six nine four seven, Mister Historian. Even though people can read it, for those on the app, what is our question? How old slash young is Chief today? Pre or post dinosaurs? <laughs> Listen, we sub all of his toys, so you guys all can make your own judgment there. Okay, next match. Let's get to it. Next match. War, okay, now we're down to the two War Games matches. I can't believe this card only has five matches. Well, because of the War Games matches, yeah, it can take know, forever. I know, but still. What do you want? Like, a, what do you want? A well, AEW, well, AEW just did five hours a couple of weeks ago. I, I, would, I would venture to say there may be one, possibly two matches added to this card. And we don't know about pre-show. There might be somebody on the pre-show, but that doesn't affect the main card. You think there's going to be more to come on this? You know, <laughs> you know something. You know something. I don't know nothing. Chief knows. Yeah, of course he He's knows. He's a shadow. Yeah. A shadow knows. Yeah. They probably pulled somebody off an autograph signing this weekend for a reason. Oh. I'm sorry. I couldn't make it. I had to cancel. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about the ladies' war games match first. Know, you didn't run and play your agent to cancel. What's wrong with you? Sorry. Damage control. Nikki Cross. Rhea Ripley takes on Bianca Belair, Asuka, Alexa, Mia Yim, and Becky Lynch. Who, by the way, they got rid of Mia Yim's new nickname after only a couple of days. That's crazy. <laughs> so anyway, so and Becky Lynch, no surprise. We all talked about it for mm -hmm. weeks last night. Was deemed as the yeah. mystery fifth <laughs> mystery fifth person. So Becky Lynch is back. What do we see here, gentlemen? Becky and pins Nikki. Becky pins Nick Nikki. Okay. Matt? Team Alexa and Becky winning, for sure. Team Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Brandy, your thoughts? I'm torn, actually. I, I think it's going to be Team Alexa and, and Becky, but I think they have such a big push on Rhea right now that I, I, don't, see, I don't see her taking the pin, obviously. Oh, no. No. It, that's It'd why be I said Nikki, Nikki Cross, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Or Dakota. I believe it's it's cross taking right. well. I, I believe this is where we're going to see Alexa start going back to the dark side a little more. I think she's going to cost. What do you say, Team Alexa, in the <laughs> win? I think the I don't care if she's a team captain or not. If T Alexa Bliss is no, on no. the team, it's <laughs> Team Alexa. Even though Belair's the champion, yeah. I don't so care. Okay. I know. I think she's going to cost them the win because of something with Bray Wyatt. Something's going to happen there because we've all seen the signs. Everybody. So I think the uh, damage control crew is going to win. Chief? I think it's going to come down to uh, Becky. And it's going to come down to Bailey? No. Rhea? Miss Ripley. But and it's not an elimination match. No, no. And I think Becky is going to pin Rhea. Okay. In the middle of the ring. Clean win. Clean win. Wow. I think we're going to see some awesome moves from Io Shirai, though. Last time she was she's in jumping a War off Games that match. Cage I was going to say, yeah, she's been in every War Games match that WWE's put on. Uh, this first Through time NXT. On the, right. It's the first time on the main roster, but, <clears throat> but uh, Brandy's right. She's been in every one that they've had on NXT. She's the only one experienced in this kind of match. So we'll see what happens. Well, Last Dakota's got experience. Was in yeah. The, oh, well, was yeah. in the first one. Yeah. When she turned on Tegan. Maybe Tegan Knox comes back. That'd be fun. All right, that. let's get to the last match before we go to break. As you can all see, I have the <laughs> big match ready to light Chiefs' 70th birthday cake <laughs> after break. How old Did you say 70th? <laughs> Did I say 70? I think yeah, I, you uh, said 70. So I thought I it was 365. <laughs> Days or years? <laughs> 29 and hold and plus 41. 40, 41st anniversary of his 29th birthday. Exactly. exactly. Congratulations. You're All welcome. right. Let's get to it. The last match, of oh, course. We got a Twitter comment. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, copying AEW's gimmicks, Twitter. Also, what is it with everyone wanting at Alexa Bliss WWE to turn heel tonight? Well, I didn't know I was everyone, but okay. Oop. I don't want her to turn heel. I don't think she's turning heel. I just think... I don't think she's either. I don't think she's turning on. Bray's team. not heel, so something. Yeah, it, well, he's not perceived as heel yet. If you're a baby face, and you're joining another baby face. I don't know how it's turning heel, but I guess okay. all I said was right. Exactly. Good job, Twitter. <laughs> you guys are freaking amazing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I guess some people are getting tired of Bray already just coming out and doing what he's doing right now. You know, doing, They want to see him in, in the ring. Yeah. A lot of speculation, though, last night about Uncle Howdy. Yeah. Because yeah. of a certain piece of jewelry that was spotted yeah. on the Titan Tron. Yeah. So we'll see what yeah. happens. You and picked that, up on that, did you? Well, the, I saw the pictures this morning because yeah. I didn't see it live, but I saw, okay. I saw the reports on it. Yeah. And that connection makes sense of what was shown, yep. but we'll see what happens down the line. All right, the men's side before we end up our number one. The Bloodline versus the Brawling Brutes, Kevin Owens and Drew McIntyre. Chief for his birthday will go last, but I'll start with Brandy this time. There's no way the bloodline is losing. Okay. Matt? Sami Zayn takes the pinfall. Mm -hmm. The bloodline is losing. Mm -hmm. I'm, with Kevin taking the pin? You mean Sami taking the what? Doing the pin. Who's pinning? If it ends up with Sami in the middle, who's going to pin him? Drew. I think Sami, Sami's going to eat a stunner, then a bro kick, and then a claymore. Okay. So you're, the three. so you're saying that the brute side is going to win? Yeah. That's your call? Yeah. Kevin Owens pinned Sami Zayn. That's where I'm leaning. All right, Chief. You're the last one up. Take us to break as we're running into, we're over time in the first hour. Go for it. Sammy mm -hmm. is going to be saved by Kevin Owens. Okay. Kevin Owens is going to turn and go with the bloodline. Oh, a reverse swerve. <laughs> But wouldn't that, though, and there's a thought on that. The counteract would be the expectation of Sammy and Kevin go after the belts. And again, this goes to the face, 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 you know, heel stuff in the ring. Do you then foresee that to still happen where Sammy and Kevin go after the tag titles? Eventually. Okay. But Eventually. for tonight, you're thinking it's the tonight, other way. Tonight, Kevin's going to save Sammy. All right. Interesting twist. So what are your War Games predictions? You can put them in the chat room. Give us a call. We're going to end hour number one because hour number two... We're gonna start, start off with fire. We're gonna fire. start off with fire to celebrate <laughs> Chiefs 70th birthday. Those tickets are still up for seven grabs. zero. Seven zero. There you go. All right, we'll be back right after this. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. What's up, man? It's your boy, Sam Fatu. I'm here with my man, Big G. I need you to check out the podcast, Thoughts Count for Anyone. This is the essential character, EC Free, on behalf of my dear friends and Thoughts Count Anyone. The podcast for your mind. When you need deep thinking about all things sports and entertainment. Hello, this is Martin Casals, a.k.a. Marty the Mob, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere Podcast. Enjoy. <laughs> this is Impact Wrestling's Dash and Chris Bay, the ultimate finesse, former finesse division champion, and you're listening to Thoughts Count Anywhere Podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. Y'all watching this. This is my new tag team partner, Steve-O, a.k.a. Zoo, from the hit movie Friday. And from No Holds Bar. Hi, I'm Sean Devari. Listen to Thoughts Count Anywhere for all your wrestling news. Hey, what's going on? This is Axe, and I'm smashing the demolition. And we want to invite you to watch every Saturday morning Thoughts Count Anywhere. Hey guys, it's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. Live Vegas Studios, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Thoughts count 
anywhere. Buckeyes are up 10-3. I turned it in for a kendo stick. <laughs> now I got... Now he's got the knife. We're going to Brandy had to step out for a moment when she joins us. When she rejoins us, we will uh, light the cake. 702-329-6947. Happy birthday edition to, to our buddy and dear friend and, and compatriot and sometimes pain in the ass, but we love him anyway. <laughs> yep. 70th birthday to Chief, and, and in all seriousness, Chief, happiest of birthdays in many, many, many. In Jewish, we say to people, may you live to 120. Yep. Because that's how long Moses lived. Yes. And so that's a good thing. So we yes. want yeah, that's the best wishes we can give. Um, I want to hit the century mark. Okay. Drink a, you, know, you know, when you read the stories of these people who live to 100, you know what they always say? They drink a glass of red wine every day. Uh, I, can't, I don't know if that works. I can't. No, do, uh, yeah, I, I, can't, I, I can't do that. Right. But I mean, some of these secrets but, that people have is... Hey, is there my, somebody like 130? Hey, my grandma, there, my grandma like, lived till she was 99. God bless. And, my great grandmother was close to that too. She at lunch. She, for you people that don't know, she had a nip. That's what it was called, a nip. Yes. A little bot, little bottle of beer, probably on about six ounces, at lunchtime, and then after dinner, at night, she would have her glass of wine. Yep. And she lived to be 99. Yeah. Isn't that what Margaret Carey does every day? Like a glass of wine at lunch and dinner? And then 25 sit-ups. Yeah. That are her significant other, her husband. He does, does like 80. 80, yeah. She, 80, and she's teaching her to do sit-ups, and she's up to 25. All right. While Brandy, uh, while we're waiting for Brandy to come back before Might we be light the cake. 30 by now. That's, she could be 30. She could probably kick anybody's <coughs> ass at 93. God bless her. Oh, yeah. She could kick all of us. All right, great, great lady. Yes. Let's get back to... Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Well, all right. First of all, let me. I want to give a disclaimer to everybody out there. Listen, we love everybody's tweets and everybody's participation and calls. However, if you're going to send us tweets regarding football games, we. Hi, Liz. Liz uh, is in the. There you go. You're in there trouble she, now. There he is. So. Hey, Bubby. Uh, hey, if you're going to send in tweet, tweets that pertain to football and refs and calls, we ask that you you can send them in, but I'm not going to guarantee that they're going to go up because they're taking away from the wrestling conversation, even though we're talking about Michigan, Ohio State, because of a friend of ours. Look, we have somebody in studio. What's, what's our buddy's name? His name is Cole. Cole. We have Cole here in the studio. He's joined us. This is uh, Brandy's baby. Hi, Cole. Cole is here to help celebrate Chief's birthday. Do we have to cut a piece is of cake? Is it for here? Adam Cole? Baby, cool, baby. Cole, baby. <laughs> Very much so. you Speaking, want to pick him up and bring him up here with you. Speaking of which, we haven't heard too much on him, have we? He's out with that. He's been on like Twitch and stuff, so he seems like he's fine. But it's just like Listen, getting fired married, from. If you're married to Britt Baker, right? That's who he's married to. Why do you need to worry about anything else? Yeah. Just stay home. That's what I would do. Between a successful to, wrestling career and a successful dental practice, uh, you got to do nothing. Yeah, but I, I heard, I heard, I heard that. Uh, isn't he injured? Yes, concussion. He's Con still trying to get cleared from a concussion, right? yeah. yeah. All right, now that everybody's that's back. A, that's a scary thing. I'm going to ask our producer. I know he's got a version of Happy Birthday out there by Pocket Aces. So we were going to bring 70 candles in, but we were afraid that we would blow up the studio. I didn't want to blow up the studio. So courtesy of our good friend Brandy and company here, which, by the way, you and I will straighten out about the cake. We have two candles, a seven and a zero, and... Five things at the top that look like really small penises, but they're supposed to be balloons. So with that, I'm going to strike it up. We're going to light the seven and the zero here. Hopefully. There we go. These must be Albertson's candles because they don't like... <laughs> Oh, Smith's. Well, they're close. Well, it's Albertson's. A little lighter fluid, apparently. You can get off the floor. It'll help them light it. Right. All right. <laughs> Listen, Chief just took his teeth out, so he won't spit all over the cake or have his teeth fall out. So, oh gentlemen, we have God, a happy birthday. Happy birthday is playing in the background right now, courtesy of Pocket Aces. So, with that, hold on. Hold. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chief. Happy birthday to you. You live in a zoo. Oh, sorry. Go for it. Make a wish. Hey! Hey! And the studio's still standing. Happy birthday if you want to call in and wish Chief a happy birthday. Put him in the chat room. That would be great. 702-329-6947. Now, as you saw, Chief has the knife and the weapons. And uh, he will be cutting pieces for everybody here to enjoy on his birthday. Of course, some of it will go home to his lovely wife, Liz. There it is. How old is Chief? 
That's the trivia question. If you can read those numbers, 702-329-6947, you will get a pair of tickets to... Don't put it back in. It'll be easier to cut without it. Since Chief has a knife in his hand, Bruno San Martino is the greatest wrestler of all time. <laughs> and he has the greatest championship reign of all time. Oh, my God. <laughs> well done. Well done. In this day, anybody's the greatest wrestler, Chief says. So, good job. Old school wrestling is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, wrestling on the radio was great. That's right. How do we want to cut it? You said uh, very careful. However you, you want to. Go down the middle. And then I just asked for a corner. That's all I want. Anyway. Let's, uh, Wiley's cutting the cake. Let's not have too much dead air here. So let's go back to discussing a couple things under the WWE report. Ric Flair says he will be at Royal Rumble. He said WWE didn't tell him not to tell anyone, so that's why he shared it. And what do you think he will do there? Oh, Jazz on Twitter says that Jazz Meow, it's my puppy boy's 10th birthday today. Happy birthday to your puppy out there. He's almost actually 10 years, and it's what, seven dog years to one. That dog is the same age as Chief. Yes. Wow. Right on. Well, happy birthday. And really, happy birthday to everybody celebrating today. We'll get to birthday lists. Yes. Well, I'm an equal opportunity. uh, um, Defender. Yeah, right. (laughs) So what do you guys think about Ric Flair? Let's talk about Ric Flair. I mean, I don't know what he's going to do. What can he do? He's not going. Hunter's not going to come back in the ring. No. With Triple H in charge, it was only a matter of time before Ric Flair came back. WWE didn't tell him to say anything, but not to say anything. The, you would think that that would want to be a surprise, but I guess yeah. Alzheimer's is kicked okay. in with him as well. Well, on the, on the heels of that, and, <clears throat> and I didn't go through. You might, you probably have it on something under the Indy report, but Ricky Steamboat, do you have that on the run sheet? Ricky Steamboat is getting ready to get back in the ring for his quote unquote quote final match. He's teaming with FTR, uh, uh, I think this weekend or next weekend in a final match okay, as well. Nice. And he anyway. decided to do that on the heels of Ric Flair doing his final match. Um, so we'll see how that works for everybody else uh, in between. Uh, I, it's mine. <coughs> I, I fixed it. And the microphone. You're good job. Well, I don't care about the phone. The microphone is what's important. Anyway, make sure uh, that Aaron gets a piece here too. We'll get it to him during break. Because he hasn't had... I didn't see him walking with a cereal, so I don't think he's had breakfast yet. I know he didn't have a donut one. yet. You need one. There's one for Aaron. Yeah, we'll give it to yeah, we'll give it to him in break. There you go. All right. So I don't. I think do you. Th- I don't think Ric Flair is going to get into the ring. I don't think he's going to get like physically involved. Maybe it's for like a distraction, a pre-show, of or managing maybe Charlotte or. Yeah, but Char- you don't see. You don't think Charlotte <laughs> would come back during a pre-show, though, do you? No, I mean, like maybe he gets involved in like whatever feud she's in. Oh, gotcha. Or like managing her in her match or something. Yeah, gotcha. I'll just do that, bro. Because he wasn't paying attention. Yeah, That's why. He was keeping one eye on Brandy. You know how these two get. <laughs> he was mesmerized by my beauty. That's right. <laughs> oh, Actually, God. I got I to gotta tell you, it must be your birthday. When is your birthday? <coughs> we had it on the 24th of September. Okay, so it was recent. Yeah, yeah we, had, we celebrated the studio, right. me and Matt. Well, Matt's birthday I remember. Yours I don't remember so much. Gee, thanks. <laughs> Man, but I was gonna say it's, it's a delay. Like three days apart. It was like a, but it was like a delayed birthday present from Brandy, because Brandy has been actually very nice to Thomas today thus far. And I know I'm jinxing it right now. What do you need? Season, what do you need? Oh yeah, we have a piece of cake for Aaron there. We'll, Brandy will be kind enough to give it to him, and then we'll get yelled out later that he's having sugar and he shouldn't have it. Raquel will be in here later. What did you give him cake for? Okay, we give him donuts. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Montez Ford says he's 100% after his foot injury. Good. I'm going to, I want to see the Street Profits back. Is it, is it time for, for singles, though, for him? I mean, this injury could, could have been used almost like a reset in a way yeah. for him to start a singles run. Now, I don't know what that would have done for Dawkins because I don't see Dawkins as high in the list as a singles performer as Montez Ford could be and should be. True. Mon- Everyone says Montez Ford could be like the future of like wrestling and like a huge star in WWE himself. Mm-hmm. And Bianca Belair has been saying this in interviews, but it's his wife, too. So she's kind of biased. Of course. But the dude's got charisma for days. He's super athletic. I think he definitely can be like a huge top star oh, in WWE for definitely. sure. Definitely. Ford definitely could be a top star. He's got the charisma. He's got the athleticism. He's got all the tools to be successful. Just Hunter's got to give him a push. So 
Someone else is going to be out of attendance in Survivor Series, uh, The Undertaker. Yeah. And his wife, they'll be down there. Um, as of yesterday's report that I saw, it was good. <laughs> See, I knew you'd appreciate that. Um, Thank you all. Oh, oh, here's a good question before we get back to that. On Twitter, Kitty Cocaine 3 asks, what do you buy men for their birthday? See, I, 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 I'm going to tell you, I'm easy because I love sports. So wrestling, Penn State, Yankees. I'll give my wife some credit there with Syracuse, but mostly Yankees, Mets. Batman, of course, are Yankees, Giants, Batman, and wrestling. Yeah. That's that, you know, shirts. Me, or yeah. Wrestling, whatever. sports, yeah. Golden Knights. Golden, Golden Knights. Knights for me. Cubs, Bulls. Chief, what Knights. would you want for your 70th birthday right now as a, as a gift? And just to answer that person's question. Mm. <coughs> I th you, you know, honestly, it, it's tough because, you know, when I need something, I go out and get it. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, it's not like I, you know, yes, it's my birthday today. It's supposed to be a special day. But if I want something, I... You we know, reach a point in our life where birthdays yeah. don't... Liz, yeah. li you know, um, Liz bought me... Um, a Dory Funk Jr. picture. There you go. Um, Al, Al Perez. Okay. And, um, God, I can't think of the third. Oh, uh, Superstar Bill Dundee. Okay. You know, some, right. some old school guys. Some radio you know. wrestlers. <laughs> I, yep. <laughs> yeah, this is true. The knife's still there. Old school wrestling is amazing. You know, it, it's, <laughs> it's just... Uh, you know, so I pre you know, I appreciate that. So we have a question on Twitter. Uh, I like the avatar. Maybe that's why we're getting questioned this. Uh, I'm just going to say <coughs> rack with a period at what you wanting in the A is a four in there wants to know when everybody's birthday is today. So chief is today. I'm July 5th, September 21st, September 24th. Aaron, you just passed your 50th. What's your what's your date? What's your date? November 17th for our producer, Brandy. August 23rd. There you go. Right. So we should actually, since that person asked that question about buying gifts for men, let's say, Brandy, what would you buy a guy for their birthday? Socks. <laughs> I didn't say Father's Day. <laughs> Socks. <laughs> it, it just depends on the guy, really. Like, what are they into? Mm -hmm. Like, usually I find out what they're into, and I try to make it special with little trinkets of whatever they're into. I think, I think buying for guys... Has got to be easier. For Thomas, it's ham. I can buy him a ham and he'll be great. <laughs> Buying for guys. He's over smacking his lips pretty good with that cake. <laughs> yeah, he's drooling over there. We've got to get him a bib or something over here. All I hear in my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> but would you guys not agree that <laughs> buying for, like, if you have a significant other, like my wife, it's got to be easier for her to buy me stuff than it is for me to buy her stuff. Because I think, and Brandy, you can agree or not with what I'm about to say, women like presents <clears throat> that are more... Sentimental. Sentimental, useful. I'm not talking jewelry or things, but I'm aware of what my wife talks about all year long. So between birthdays, Mother's Day, or just because if she says, you know, this is breaking down, I need this so I can really use this, and I take note of that, and a month or two later, I happen to get that, that's meaningful, right? Yeah. Not that I don't not like the giants and that stuff, <coughs> but I got to think for a guy, it's a lot easier because like Brandy said, for guys, you can just buy a socks and we're happy. You know, Especially yeah. if it's Mr. Socko Socks. It's, <laughs> it's like... Um, Put a sock over something for our birthday, and it's a lot better of a birthday. Put it on the doorknob. Exactly. <laughs> Put it on the doorknob. When you see the sock, don't come a-knocking. It's, it's like um, with Liz and I. In, in all honesty, you, you said it right, Aaron. You know, as, uh, as we get a little older, um, you know, when we need something, we just go out and buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's... You know, I, I always ask, what do you want for your birthday? Right. Same discussion. I don't need nothing. It's like dinner. What do you want for dinner? Exactly. <laughs> what you do know? you want to make? Um, so, I mean, uh, it, you know, for, for young folk and, and, and the tradition, the tradition will always be there. Right. You know, big deal. And, and thank you, everybody. And I mean this. Thank you, everybody. But, you know, 70, it doesn't mean anything to me. It, it's, it's it's just a it's, number. It right? is. Age is only a number, you know, and there are people who are 70 that, like Chief, feels younger and lives a life and whatnot. Then there's people my age, and I'm 58, that feel like they're 78 because of one reason or another. Yeah. So 
Eight is only a number and how good you feel. And as long as I keep seeing my face every day in the mirror when I wake up, I'm a happy dude pretty much right there. You know, if I don't yep. see it, then I know I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, but well said. And thank you for your questions, by as the way. As long as I can put my feet on the ground, it's a good day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Seven zero two three two nine six nine four seven. thank you very much for the case. Yes, thank you to Brandy for bringing good. in today. Appreciate Greatly it. Greatly appreciate that. So, last time we brought cake in for Matt and Thomas... You know, it's like last minute I'm thinking plates, napkins, and everything, right? We got it today. Got today, it I came in with my stuff, but I'm thinking brandy will prep. Well, let me just bring it. Bring. We have three sets of stuff that came in the studio today. You have to remember, you guys are all guys and usually forget that stuff, and I'm a female. So but I remembered for their birthday back in September. Yeah, but mom, mom takes care of stuff like that. Let's that, see. There you go. The real, the real provider was, was Liz, right? Exactly. Yep. Female. Jennifer agrees with what you said, Chief. Well said. So Thank you, Jennifer. All right. How old is Chief today? Come on. Somebody's got to win these tickets. Are you kidding me? 702-329-6947. Press 1. <clears throat> Even if you're outside the area and you know somebody here in Vegas that would love to go, put in their name. That's okay. It's not going to cost anything. 702-329-6947. Press 1 to come into the studio and tell us that he's going to be 70 years old. That's all. Not going to be. He is. 70 is your answer. So somebody flip and call for crying out loud. Hey, Ronald. Ronald, if you're still in here, I got two words for you. The Savannah Bananas. That's three words, technically. I Savannah. love them, guys. They're coming to <laughs> Vegas next year. We want them in studio. Yeah, we're going to try to get them. So we got to make sure that works. All right, next topic as we're talking here about WWE. Uh, what was this with Dominic and Rhea invading? A work. A very important tweet coming up. <laughs> <laughs> Old as dirt, as mom would say. Old as dirt. Well, there's a mic drop for you, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. The party's over. We don't need to say anything else. <laughs> Mom, you see my coal? Damn! Do you coal? You have coal? Where is he? Oh, he's over. Can you put a shot up of uh, Brandy and coal hey, over there? So that we got coal in studio, Mom. There you go. Can coal wave? Can coal say anything? Like, can he? Can he like bark and bite somebody? Or uh, you, uh, he can bite you. Yeah. Not me. Come, come yeah. approach him. I yeah. did. I petted him when you had him over here. He just that, licked my hand. That's because I was holding him. Oh. If he was on the ground, he'd probably. He brought him in. He was on the ground. Jeez, no respect. Okay, let's get back. They want them to bite someone, so I volunteer you. I vote for Thomas. I was gonna say you're my (laughs) agent. You're you're my agent, dude. You got to test these things for me. Oh, I do. WWE (laughs) not looking to bring back former talent with controversial history. We started one, then we went back. We went. I don't even remember what I started. We're talking about Dominic. Dominic. Oh, Dominic and Rhea. (laughs) Jeez. I mean, the the home invasion stories over the years. Rey Mysterio eats Thanksgiving dinner in his mask. <laughs> he, I mean, exactly. You know, I, I'm not he a big... He put the mask on just as they were opening, right. the, as he's opening the door. I'm not a big fan of these home invasion storylines. Never have. You know, back in the day when you had Orton and you had the Triple H mm-hmm. going on and all that. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, we know what it was done for and everything, but I'm not a big fan of that sort of stuff. But that's yeah. just my opinion. Your guys' we're, take? We're getting closer to, to Ray finally giving in and wanting to beat his son. I think Ray's going to be out to the Rumble. He's going to be in the Rumble. He's going to uh, have him and Dominic going to have a little scrum. They both get eliminated, fight to the back, and that sets up WrestleMania. I'm not sure if Chief was in agreement with you or not because he kept giving you the thumb. <laughs> I listened to my other favorite show this morning, session 722,641. Wow, it's They're gaining ground. It's I moved like up, that. I was going to say. <laughs> All right. And... There was a gentleman that called in who, who sounded like my age. Okay. And he just said, Dominic just needs to get in, this, in the ring with Ray. And Ray just whip the shit out of him and give him his stripes. And Ray retire out of the ring and let Dominic go on. And I totally agree with that. If Ray's ready and, and you know, let, let's face it, folks, Ray's one of the best luchadors I've ever seen. You know, I, I old school, Mil Mascaris, okay? Uh, Eddie Guerrero. And Eddie's, you know, old school. Eddie's not old, but he's old school. Uh, Ray, you know, is it time for Ray to retire? Ray, the only one that knows is Ray. 
but I think before Dominic Mysterio becomes the name, Ray needs to beat the crap out of him. Just my thoughts. Harrison Renshaw on Twitter says at Renshaw HS, he's going to WWE Survivor Series tonight. So Harrison, have fun. Congrats. Have fun. But Enjoy. Next week's show, dude, you're going to be our on-location reporter. So take notes. We want to know how the, the matches were from a live perspective, what the crowd was like. So please be prepared to give us a call uh, next week, 702-329-6947. Again, we haven't given away the tickets. That Chief is 70 years old. How old is Chief? He's 70. How young is Chief? He's 70. It's still 70 no matter how you slice it. <laughs> so somebody, just call in and claim these tickets already, please. By the way, do we have an update on our favorite football game that we're Ten we're three, what? ten three stills. Nine still? minutes again. Yeah. Nine, nine minutes, minutes in the Six. half. Yeah. Wow, that's a long first half. So those games go on forever. I'm My goodness. If I were calling back and check you. I would. <laughs> he'll probably he'll probably try to throw throw his phone at you through the phone. Yeah. So I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily do that. Yeah. By the way, just a side note: with all the shopping going on, yesterday was Black Friday. Monday is Cyber Monday. Although Cyber Monday bleeds into Black Friday now, and you can buy on Cyber every day of the year. Anyway, yeah. don't forget your small business, folks. This is Small Business Weekend. You know, your small entrepreneurs, uh, they are as much in need, if not more so, business and support than the big stores do. So if you're out and about, Tivoli Village, I know this weekend, is having uh, their uh, uh, crafts fair out there today and tomorrow. Stop by. Support the people that are there. Um, you got <laughs> Tom, uh, Jennifer says she likes when both Thomas and Brandy are on the show together. Oh, <laughs> if you only know what it takes to get them on the show together and keep peace, uh, freaky, Jennifer. Freaky kissing cousin. Pro Wrestling Tees <laughs> is having uh, their Black Friday sale as well, so you can go get your TCA merch. <clears throat> there you go. Yeah. Great plug. Absolutely. And if you want more more options, you can go to thoughtscanywhere.com and hit the merch tab there as well. And you can see all there, the shop tab. There it is. There's some of our shirts. I, I have a new title for a shirt. Okay. Butts and Seats. Okay. Well, that's up to our shirt maker. We still have a couple ideas that we haven't yet. Well, which one? Your new, our new ones. Oh, our new ones. No, I haven't. I haven't. But they're not yeah. available for public consumption yet. You did it. So, I did it. As an agent, you, now you're I'm sounding like me. <laughs> so. so. <laughs> and everybody should know that we have the baseball jerseys that I had custom made for us. Yep. Yeah. Well, with hockey season, and of course the Golden Knights being in our town, um, yep. I, need I, one of them. I went to that web. Well, uh, have your people call my people. We'll see what we can do on the next order. Right. Uh, <laughs> TCA hockey jerseys, or sweaters yeah. as they're called in the industry, with our names and numbers are on the back. So, um, yeah, these are pretty cool. They're not cheap to make when you have them, because you know what they do at this website? Every shirt is individually, individually priced. Yeah. So it's not like I can upload our logo or say what I want and right. then they bulk make them because if they do that, they literally have to be then like a bulk purchase and then to personalize it with our name and number. So every shirt is billed for setup and logo and shipping. I could have, you know, I could add like our logo on the sleeve, but that was like another 30 bucks. I'm like, all right, we'll just keep it under control. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that mean? Scott Hosey. Michigan just scored. It's 10, oh, 10. 10, 10. Well, breathe. He says, oh, another half a game to sweat out. Don't breathe so fast just yet, dude. He's listening. Uh, are That's you, okay. Are you, are you telling listening. him not to breathe at all? I'm telling him that he better. I am. Stay. <laughs> he better stay on the edge of his seat, though, because it's only half a game right oh. now. You should have seen him in studio. Was it last week when uh, I forgot what day he was in here? Oh, it was Saturday. Yeah, it was yeah. last week he was in. And he's sitting on the couch. We know, you know they almost lost last week. Uh, uh, uh. And yeah, half the show, I should have had a camera on him the whole, the whole show while he's sitting there sweating out the end of the game last week. But anyway. So shop small business if you can today. Shop thoughtscanywhere.com. Hey, go to Aaron'sHour.Vegas. My book, as you've seen, the commercial for is out there. I got shirts out there. Chief asked me to remind everybody what my saying is. I have a shirt out there with it that Jennifer has. If you go to golive.vegas, we've got shirts and we've got hats. We have po posters, which speaking of which, which I've neglected to mention thus far, even though it's sitting right next to me. <laughs> our poster. What did I do now? No, you didn't do you anything. You didn't do anything. Oh, okay. Again, as I said earlier, guilty conscience has no accusers. So on our poster, we have a ton of signatures that we're going to be raffling this poster off or auctioning it off on the 17th of December with the help of our good friends, Top Rope Collectibles. And if you heard last week, each of their seven administrators are going to be donating and adding to the package of the poster one autographed 
memorabilia that they're each donating to add to the cause here. And that's a hell of a package. We yep. already have $500 in the bank from private uh, uh, donations for yep. the Avery Burton Foundation. Uh, they will be guests here or my show, I think on Aaron's Hour in, in like two uh, next week. Um, these are the folks that will get the uh, uh, donations. They are a mental wellness and suicide support organization. The founder and one of the board members, they are both suicide victim loss survivors. So they both oh, lost. Wow. Yeah. So they both lost uh, folks close to them. Um, they're going to be the recipients. My goal, and, I, and I'll make it public. Um, we already have 500 in the bank, courtesy of Rick Upchurch and courtesy of William Hudson from TRC. I talked to Will and I said, I want to at least double that. I want to make sure we get at least $500 out of the, the poster with everything else that they're kicking in because I would love to minimally give them $1,000. They will come in studio on the 17th and receive the check. Nice. From us, we'll get one of those big checks made I, up and everything. I want to so. give. I want one dollar more from last year. And we gave a check to about thirteen hundred dollars to um, the local Su- Nevada Coalition for Suicide Prevention. So if we can get thirteen hundred one dollar, yep, that will be a huge success. It's yep. already a success because they we have five hundred, which is great. Minimally, I'd love to double that because they offer scholarships, huge ton of resources to help people when they're in time of need, especially at this time of year as we have what's called seasonal depression. All right, with that. We're going to step aside for our f- nope. final break so, of the show. So anyway, last week, a uh, good, good friend of ours, uh, I'll make it quick. Good, fr- good friend of ours was watching the Michigan game last week, and he made a comment. And uh, I asked him, I said, what's suicide watch, sir? And he said, Michigan last second field goal to win. So I'll just leave it at that. That's correct. That was last week. He was crawling under the couch. Here in the studio because they couldn't take it anymore until they finally won with what was like 10 seconds. Uh, Yeah. All right. With that, we're going to step aside for our second hour break. When we come back, we got a lot more to cover. Birthdays. I'm going to shout out some of the names that are on the poster. We got Cole Baby in here. And we got Cole Baby. We'll be right back. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five-star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry, go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! Hey guys, it's Tessa Blanchard and Ozzy, and you're watching Thoughts Count Anywhere. Go Live Vegas Studios, a unique multi-camera social media virtual content creator's paradise. We offer high-end services using live streaming and film production for your personal or corporate, commercial or event, and campaign needs. Pre-record or live stream to your audience on multiple social media platforms simultaneously. Fun and interactive with social media comments, phone lines, live remotes, audio foley sounds, and Snapchat filters. Be creative, get recognized, and make money. We help you by providing an all-in-house production team. Visit our website at golive.vegas. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. By the way, on the poster, I just want to share some of the names that are on the poster. Santana Garrett, Lady Tapa, Miranda Alizé, Shaw Guerrero. (laughs) It's Elise. (laughs) Christy Janes. Yeah, exactly. Miranda Alice. Jenny Santana, Renee Michelle. Uh, Maserati is there, of course. One of our locals here, Sledge. Uh, Jordan Blue. Who else is on here? Renegade Twins, Sandra Moon, Diamante. Uh, Lilith Grimm, Big Swole, uh, Charlie Haas, just to name a few. Yeah. We are hoping on the 9th to fill in with a couple of other names that we have heard will be in attendance. 
Uh, yep. Well, one of them we know being attendant, she's wrestling. We interviewed her last week, uh, Miss Tessa. Ms. We're hoping Tessa and she's, Blanchard. she hopefully will get her. And then someone else is allegedly, I won't share any names, supposed to be there. Um, and hopefully we can get this individual signature as well. And we'll announce that on the 10th. Old school. Old school. That's right. Well, the one that's advertised that we're not going to say their name? Is he advertised on there? Yeah. All right. Well, we're Kevin hoping to Sullivan? get Kevin Sullivan. Mr. Kevin <laughs> Sullivan. The fuck do I know? Old school. I have too much going on. <laughs> Kevin Sullivan. Uh, Look at the post, on. dang it. Listen, you know how many posts I get to watch? Floyd Mayweather <laughs> Sr. is going to be at the meet and greet, Him too. and Mark Lewin with the spike. <laughs> you remember that? I, I do. Huh? Actually, That's I do. old school. That's very old school. All right, full gear last All right, week. let's go. Uh, you know, the best way to sum up the, the highlight of full gear is if you watch Dynamite this past Wednesday in the opening segment. Uh, William Regal um, what's, what's helped MJF helped MJF secure the win over Mox, and of course yeah. everything went down in the ring. And Daniel Bryan came out Wednesday night to try to play a little peacemaker. Um, not sure where that's all ending out, but um, let's talk about MJF and Moxley. We all we all called it. MJF was going to win, right? I and mean, we all oh, yeah. called it last yeah. week. Even even Stevie Wonder could have seen that one coming. It's just kind of funny because it's near MJF's hometown, so. The heel got the biggest pop of the night, and the biggest good guy in the company was booed out of the building. And he played up to it, too. Yeah. I, I, I didn't see the swerve coming, though. I don't think any. I, I didn't. I, didn't, I, just, I did not see that at all. I, that, you know what? It was great. Mm -hmm. It was great. I'll be interested to hear what this quote-unquote email was that was sent yeah. that uh, they kind of teased uh, during that promo. But no one MJF. He'll probably be like, it's none of your, your freaking business. business. Oh, yeah. could, he could. He could play it that way. Who I'm knows? sure Regal was like, oh, it's you lived up to what I told you you were going to be. Right. Oh, could be. That's good. Yeah, based but, and, on the in-ring interaction a week or so before. And then the rumor <laughs> saying that the way they wrote, the way Regal left and everything, like this could be a swan song from AEW. Could be, yeah. And it could be going back to WWE. That's a good point. Moxley, Moxley certainly did uh, tell him to. The only thing he wants is for you to run. Run. Yeah. Run as far as you can. And never come so back. Never come back. Could be. We'll see what hey, happens. Maybe he shows up, to, he shows up tonight and gives us a kick space for War Games. War Games is where? Up in uh, Boston. Boston? Mm -hmm. Where was AEW Wednesday? New Connecticut. York. Connecticut. Oh, so Connecticut. they were close. Huh? You can play up in Florida. It doesn't yeah. matter. Well, I know. How do you give him a private judge to get your ass up here? be i mean would you guys be surprised that uh if regal does show back up on wwe television brandy um i think i would be at this point regal's doing his thing over there so i don't think see him showing up tonight for sure okay i don't think he's going back i think that's just part of the storyline okay i think he's gonna end up costing moxley the rematch too it's it it says here it's been reported that William Regal is in the last year of his contract despite joining Tony Khan's company in 2022. This prompted many fans to wonder if tonight was the end of his run in Jacksonville-based company and is, if this was a way to write him off. Some even believe he is on his way back to WWE. Well, could be. Well, listen, with the way Triple H has been bringing people back and, of course, with the success that NXT had previously, we, Regal was as much part of that as well, um, oh, you know, yeah. that early success with the black mm -hmm. and gold. So it was sort of makes sense. However, time will tell as to, listen, everybody wasn't sure about MJF when he was away off of TV for a while, if it was a swerve or not a swerve. Yeah. So, Does you know, John Moxley finally get his vacation? Hopefully. <laughs> well, deserved six weeks. No, what I was going to say, though, Regal did a, a a great job down at NXT. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, training and 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 let's face it, he's great on the mic. Knowing that, I would think Tony Khan would want to keep him and let him help develop the young people that are on the YouTube shows and help develop them. To build them up to the main, the main stage. AEW needs a lot more help with that than WWE does at this point. Yeah, yeah. NXT's got Shawn Michaels and all of them now, so yeah. Well, AEW's got Dustin Rhodes and well, he's he, dealing with his own injuries now too. I just read. And I heard he's about to be out too. He, right, he has less than a year in his contract as well. So that's a great point, Brandy. He'll resign. He's not gonna go back to Vent. He's not gonna go back to WWE. <coughs> 
Uh, you know what? If his he's out with injury, he last wrestled in August, I think, and he's out with an injury. Yeah, with an ACL with his injury. knees or something, right? He's, yeah, and he's already had he's, multiple surgeries on his knees. Yeah, he, he, he needs double knee knees. replacement. Yeah, to be able to walk normal when he retires. So you're talking if he were to have a double knee, which most doctors probably won't do both at the same time. No, you're you're talking at least a year, maybe more. Yes, you know, uh, on average. So who knows? And and he's no young he's no young buck either anymore. He's in his fifties yeah. as well. From, in I terms could see of him going age. back to WWE just to be a producer, like trainer, just because Cody's there. Absolutely. I could see that as well, for sure. All right, let's go on to another match. Jamie Hayter defeated Tony Storm for the ladies' title. No more interim tag. Thank you. interim name. So that's been removed. Now it's just a full championship. Mm-hmm. Yep. So I think I, I don't remember who, who uh, said what last week in terms of their predictions, but I know a couple of, couple of individuals up here called for a new champion. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, think I, I think I said she would retain, but... It's okay. So we have a new champion in Jamie Hayter. What direction is she going to bring to the women's division now? Well, she's going to be feuding with Brit soon, so... Okay. She's going to what? Be feuding with Brit soon. Okay. I'll tell you, I'll give you my thought. I, after they made the announcement that they were taking the belt away, or, or taking the belt back mm-hmm. off of... Um, Thunder? Thunder Rosa, mm-hmm. right? In my mind, they should have kept the belt on uh, Tony Tony Storm, okay? At least until after it was announced that she was going to be the champion, all right? By, by having Hater win it, then announce it, well, it's like Storm didn't do nothing. You know, they just gave the belt right to Hater mm-hmm. and then made the announcement, oh, you're the champ now. You're well, not, well, well, I also after read the fact, ex- uh, sort exact, of anticlimactic exact. in that standpoint. Well, and I also read that they were going back into the record books and saying that Tony was the champion, not interim champion. Yeah, so the books are going to. Rem- I, I don't like that title. I, I, the, the word interim shouldn't mean anything because it's, they've never used it until the last year. It's all because he's a UFC fan. No, no, I, I, I get that. That's what I'm saying. That's why he's, he's right. doing it. But they did it the interim uh, when Punk was out. Moxie was the interim champion. Um, they, they did all of that. I've never WWE never used interim. If you got no. injured, out. 17, 13, by the just, way. Thank just, you. Just my opinion. They should have kept the belt on Tony Storm. I agree. They should have come out then and said, okay, Tony, you are the champion. Mm-hmm. All right. End of the conversation. Then they have the match, whatever the next pay-per-view is, and, okay, Jamie Hitter's going to win it. Then. Right. I'm okay with that. Yeah. The way they did it, though, Tony Khan, shame on you. All right, let's talk about uh, Soraya making her in-ring debut by defeating Dr. Britt Baker, D-M-D. MD. Yeah. No surprise. We all, call, we all saw that coming. We all called out. Yeah, there's no way Soraya could have um, lost in her big return. Um, but apparently, apparently everybody loved the match. Um, everybody, I, th- I mean, I think some rust was visible. Brandy, did you happen to see that match at all? I didn't. That was, I only saw the last couple matches. Okay. Um, Soraya beating Britt. Good thing or bad thing for AEW? I, it's, I, you can't have her come back and then lose her first match back after five years being gone or whatever. It just wouldn't be. Wouldn't yeah. be a good way to start. It wouldn't, yeah. So They okay. needed something to build her up even more and that give, give her that win and now they can build some kind of feud with somebody. And she could take a loss somewhere. Okay. It was a good match, but she was definitely blown up, and there was a lot of ring rust there. Sure. Sure. Well, after five years, you'd expect that. Yeah. You, can, you can practice in, in, in a ring all you want, but until you actually are in a live match, not that you're not having si- uh, simulated live matches during practice, you know, getting ready, you know, all that stuff. But when you're in front of tens of thousands of people, it's going to be definitely uh, different. Uh, oh, we have a phone call. And it is my absolute pleasure and honor to welcome to the show for a few minutes. She is none other than the general manager. Yay. The ultimate women of wrestling is Jennifer Santana. Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're doing very well. We mentioned at the top that uh, we were hoping you'd have an opportunity to call in this morning to talk at UW3 as we've been doing all morning. Excuse me? And go ahead, Chief. <laughs> UW3. That's Thank right. you. O- only Chief is allowed to say it that way. Um, Are you calling in to win the ticket? Do you do you do you, do you know tickets? somebody to get in the door? Do you, do you know to in order to win? Do you, do you know the Chiefs 
First of all, yeah, I was going to say the question is what? The question is how old's Chief today? Oh, my gosh. Um, if you say 70, you'll be right. 55. So I'm just helping. 55? <laughs> wow. Wow, she likes you. Yeah. Holy cow. Jennifer, th- <laughs> so here we are. We're two weeks away, right? If my calendar's correct. Yeah, two weeks right. away. Correct, We're yes. ready. Um, yeah, I, I, two weeks away. Tickets seem to be going pretty well, very well from what it looks like. So that's great. Uh, talk about the expectation and excitement building around the event in two weeks. I mean, there, it's just going to be so great in so many different ways, like from – being at a new venue that's never had professional wrestling to having um, a new host who, who's going to be awesome. It, it looks like um, it, it, there's just so many things that are going to be planned. The matches that are going to be there, we give away three belts that night. So just that alone is very a momentous occasion for the organization as a whole. And then the feature match, which is going to just be an all-out banger featuring Tessa and Miranda Alice. I think, I mean, I'm just curious what is going to be people's favorite match when they leave. Like, what are they going to be talking about? There's going to be so much, it's going to be hard to pinpoint one thing. It's, it, we're, we've been talking about it, that, and I'm glad you mentioned that it's the first time that the House of Blues has hosted any kind of wrestling, but... We've been talking about the fact that this is a, is a historical night from the standpoint that three first-time champions in the history of UWW will be crowned, and that is something that the winners will never, ever be able to have taken away from them for, for the rest of history of UWW mm-hmm. and for their own careers. Yeah, and so exciting to have three in one night. I mean, usually you have big titles like that, and you have one, you know, rarely two at the same time. But to have three in one night, I think it is going to be, it, it just raises the excitement level to a, a new a new dimension, I guess. So. We had the, uh, the scroll uh, up from the website. Uh, there's a contest going now where winners if they reshare all the posts they can go on to uwwevents.com the flash window opens up and they can indicate where they've shared to win tickets is that correct yeah i believe so so i mean what's better than you know wanting to come to the show and then being able to win tickets to come to the show for free so for sure follow uww follow those instructions and get your chance um to get in and and get the tickets and have amazing seats and that winner who who shares on social media and registers, that's like a private box, private meet and greet with uh, with Tessa. Yeah, I've seen pictures of the the box. It's it's so classy and it's so you know private and it's got a great view of the ring. Right. It's it's going to be a really amazing VIP experience for someone. Now on the community support side, uh, people who bring uh, unopened toys that night you guys are doing a toy drive to benefit kids uplifting kids here in las vegas which supports the kids that are in the foster system and that's a great boon as well yeah we're so excited that this show is near christmas so that we can utilize doing something good giving back to the community and the toy drive is an excellent way to help out those who may not have who may not wake up to a, a ton of toys or right. presents under the Christmas tree. So yeah, please if you're coming to the show, bring an unwrapped gift. We'd love to make all those donations and, you know, help brighten someone's day that may not, you know, have that. And, and here's another motivator to bring a toy. You are if you bring it, you get registered to have your seats upgraded uh, for that night. You have, get a chance to win upgraded seats and the winners will be announced prior to the first match. So there's even a motivation there for folks, not only just to help KUK, but get better seats by bringing yeah. in a toy to help yeah. somebody. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, every opportunity. So win, to, win. Yeah, exactly. Every opportunity to maximize their experience at the show. Talk about the meet and greets real quickly, because I know the guys here are very anxious to uh, be out there and, and being part of that to say hi to the ladies, too. Oh, no, Chief Will. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure you went over the roster, but you have wrestlers like Lady Tapa, Santana Garrett, uh, Tessa Blanchard, Miranda Elise, uh, Christy James, Katie Forbes. I mean, it's just going to be an amazing amount of people. Shaw Guerrero is going to be at the meet and greet. And, I, I mean, who wouldn't want to have a chance to take photos with with some of the girls and get to meet them. They're such nice ladies. When you see them out, they're, you know, forces to be reckoned with, but then you see them in a meet and greet situation and you realize how kind they are. So 
and approachable. Well, wrestlers are people too, right, Chief? That's what I said earlier. They just got cooler jobs than we do. That's, that's right. <laughs> exactly right. And, and Chief, Chief will be collecting kendo sticks that night. So anybody who brings a kendo stick, I'll sign an autograph for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited. We're, we're definitely excited. Uh, again, ready. two weeks. Uh, next week for us, the third is our go-home show for um, that night. So hopefully we can uh, get some uh, folks lined up to be on TCA next week with your help, hopefully, and uh, really hammer yeah, it home yeah. so we can get everybody out there for uh, the event on the 9th. We're excited. Yeah, we should especially have some girls who haven't been on yet. That would be great to kind of bring the attention onto them for this next show. And, yeah, I'm all for that. Definitely. I, I do want to know one thing before we let you go here. Um, I need to know what colors you and Shaw will be wearing on commentary so that I make sure I fit in. You know what I'm saying? I want to make sure I don't miss that memo. Um, I don't know what the color she's wearing. <laughs> I mean, I have to ask, but I usually do like black and gold and try and stay with the UWW colors. Okay. Then my ja my latest jacket's absolutely yeah. perfect then. Aaron, no matter what you're wearing, it's it doesn't be matter. like, what, what, who doesn't belong in this? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's one of them snazzy jackets moments. That's right. It's one of them snazzy jackets and it ain't going to mean crap because no one's going to worry about me. But uh, we're looking forward to it. We are primed and ready to go. Thank you for taking a few minutes with us today on Chief's birthday. He's 70 today, and nobody has called in to answer that question to win the tickets about how old he is. Oh, so, my God. Can you believe it? We've only been saying it for two hours now. Anyway, thank, wow. thank you. Our, we, uh, we love talking with you about it. We're excited, and uh, have a great rest of your day. Thanks for calling in. Enjoy your Happy day. Happy birthday, Chief. Thanks, Jen. Uh, thank you, guys. Have See a great day. Bye. Love you. Bye. Bye. All right. The Jennifer Santana, the boss at UWW, the general manager. All right, we are a little past our time. You know what time it is, Chief? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, everyone, today. If you are celebrating your birthday today, November 26th through next Friday, December 2nd, right? December 2nd? Yeah. Wow. Friday the 2nd, yeah. yeah. He didn't listen. This Huckleberry right here didn't even put his own name on the list. Nope. <laughs> he doesn't really need to be but nope. today he is celebrating a birthday you ready for this with ivory yep. how's that for your yep. partner for birthday november 27th lady top up british bulldog evan how is his last name courageous Cor oh courageous mm -hmm. okay if you say so evan courageous <laughs> no november 28th summer ray rory McAllister, eric rowan uh let's see november 29th jerry the king lawler jbl dana brooke mean gene okerland Dutch Mantel and Rosemary. November 30th, Christian and Naomi. And nobody else was born on the 1st or the 2nd, so we'll end it right there with November 30th. Next week's list, I have to remember to add my sister. Her birthday's on the 3rd, so agent, it's your job to remind me to make sure she's on the list. Yes, sir. Send me a... I'll send you a message. Send me He'll a put message. it on the notebook he hasn't brought in a year. <laughs> so, so I Happy birthday to everybody. Up so I can put it like on. Bodie. There you go. You got it. All right. Happy so I'm gonna birthday, give this back to everyone. You. Thank you very much. Can we talk a little bit about AEW some more a little bit? Yeah, Just what would you like to talk about? Go for it. How have much about they buried now. CM Punk in Chicago? Oh, I hated oh, that. Yeah. That really annoyed me. I think, that, is that not the handwriting on the wall? Or it's going to be the biggest swerve ever in the it's world of professional wrestling. It's a swerve. He's, he's got to be coming back. Okay. He's <laughs> Omega biting. Omega saying, don't, don't. Don't dwell on this. I don't want to talk about it, but yet he goes out in the ring and he does, he does the go to sleep. He goes, he does the, he does the, the biting. biting. All these jabs. I was like, Kane yeah. on Kane on Twitter at sdby Kane and not not the wrestler Kane. Though that'd be pretty cool if Glenn Jacobs does. <laughs> does. If Punk does come back to AEW, I need to know to get this fire burns. No, I need TK to get this fire. Oh, song. Tony Khan? Yeah. I thought it was to know. No, to no. Know. I need to know. <laughs> That's what I thought. I need Tony Khan. Okay. Get if their fire song. burns, they just need to see a doctor. <laughs> they have oh, ointment on it. They have cream for that. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. A really big uh, band-aid. No, seriously. Do you think Punk's going to come back? Is he done with AEW? Because they won't buy out his contract. I, mean, I don't think so. That, not the way they're, that's the way we saw on TV. So he's done. No, he's not done. He's gonna, yeah, I think he's coming he's back. coming back. That's what the... Bucks and Omega did on, on AEW? Kay. Come on now. Chief? I don't have a comment. 
Mr. Masked Movies at Ray Falcon 569 on Twitter says, Punk's going to return when he's healed. Everyone going to sort things out, put it behind them. Then he'll use it for a Punk versus Elite feud ending with Omega versus Punk. It's going to be great. Hashtag AEW. Yeah, probably I say double or nothing, Omega versus Punk. Unless I can figure it out. I don't see CM Punk coming back, honestly. I think it was just the Elite trolling CM Punk because they know they can get away with it. And they're in Chicago. And there ain't no better place to do that. Ronald, but hopefully it turns into a storyline. That'd be cool. And they're part of the board of directors, right? The elite. Yeah, the elite. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. executive vice presidents of the okay. company. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they took their shot at punk. Ronald Young shows uh, a birthday uh, under the. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was reading the tweet. Don't interrupt <laughs> me. So anyway, they took. What you did their, to me all last week. They took their. <laughs> they took their jabs at it. And just go home. Just sit at home, collect your money, okay? And, you know, people can say what they want. They're entitled to their opinions. It happened WWE. It's happening AEW. He signed a big contract. He's getting the money sitting home. Now, is he really injured or not? I think he is. He got it. I, I, I think it is. I think there is some injury there. But it's certainly adding fuel to the fire. But He's old I, and injury prone. <laughs> yeah, he is. I want to just go back to something we touched on in the WWE report, which I think is very apropos to our conversation. WWE is not looking to bring back any former talent with controversial histories. If that's the case, I don't see Punk coming back to WWE if that is to be held up. Why would, he, why would they want him back? And, and, you know, you made a comment off camera. Mm-hmm. And, and I'll just Which use, uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll just use it this way. Okay. I believe his wife is uh, working for the wow. women's company out mm. in California, making money. Mm. So he can oh. sit home so like yeah. somebody else mm. and uh, just take it easy. Well, and then go he watch do- hockey. Like MJF said, he's going to go back to reading comics nobody wa- li- reads and watching movies that nobody watches. <laughs> And we saw Punk doing commentary at MMA, what, two weeks ago? Yeah, yeah. and they made a joke out of the, the backstage fight. Right. So um, I think it's trolling on both sides at this point. All right. Real, it's got to be a work. We have a couple of minutes it. left. So um, oh, there's so much we didn't even talk about. Some of it we've kind of skirted over. We talked um, about my birthday We did. Much. We did just a few minutes, just a few times. Um, 70 years old, no one's, no one's got the tickets. Hey. So let's go into pop culture. We'll wrap up with that. Okay. Go ahead. Matt, you want to take the uh, second one there? What's his name? What's That's kind of crazy. Freaking the Green Ranger, Jason David Frank passed away, and it came out that it was suicide, which kind of makes it glad that we're donating this money to like that cause. Yep. Mm-hmm. But he was definitely like the most beloved Power Ranger. He was like the nicest guy at conventions. Usually, a lot of the celebrities would be like, "Oh, I'm here for two hours. At that two minute, two hour mark, they're gone. They don't right. care if there's a line." Right. No, nothing. Jason David Frank was always the one and be like, I'm here till the last fan standing. I'll make sure everybody gets taken care of. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I guess just the divorce and one of his kids passing away recently just got the best of them. And so may sad. rest in peace. Very Absolutely. sad. If you need help, please reach out. That's right. There's Tag always somebody out there that will is willing to listen. Because I guess he sent like messages to everybody like before he did it. And even like as it. The commentator or the announcer for Raw, I guess he said that, like, he said, I love you, too, and I wish I would have got to the phone faster. Maybe I could have changed something. Corey? You're talking about Corey Graves? No, the ring announcer. What's his ring announcer's name? Mike Os- Rome. Mike Rome, yeah. Oh, 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 gotcha. I gotcha. guess those two were, like, good friends, and hmm. he sent, like, a bunch of texts to everybody, and nobody got to him. It was, like, in the middle of the night, and when they woke up, it was well, too late. If, uh, like, like Brandy said, I mean, you can always reach out if you need someone to talk with. We're here, but there is the National Suicide Prevention Hotline number. I don't know it off the top of my head, but you can easily, we, we can get it out on our, on our Facebook page yeah. uh, and our website, ThoughtsCanAnywhere.com. And condolences to the Cara family on this. Uh, yeah, Irene, Irene Cara. Cara. Yes, yes, from Flashdance and Fame. She passed away in mid 60s. 63. And, uh, like, Wait. Cause cause will be uh, announced, uh, but she, apparently she was ill for some time. All right, real quickly before as we say goodbye, as we hear our music, Thanksgiving just passed. Instead of our normal thoughts, Matt, I'm going to ask you, 
about what are you thankful for this past Thanksgiving? I'm thankful for my health, my family, friends, you guys, this show. Thankful for a lot. Life's good. Very cool. Chief. I'm thankful for everything. I'm thankful for putting my feet on the ground every day, waking up. That's the best. That's the best there is. And mm -hmm. hey, I'm thankful for my wife who keeps me in tow, even though I don't think that she said I'm old as dirt. Uh, anyway, thankful for my 70th birthday. And most of all, I'm thankful coming here every Saturday with my family. Thomas. Thankful for all of you, being great friends, family, health, just everything in general. Brandy. I'm thankful for all my friends. I, like I said, it's been a rough week for me, so um, everybody with their support. And There's three people, David, Heather, and George, who have really stuck by me this week, and I appreciate all the love. Mr. Producer, you have a microphone over there. Would you like to chime in regarding Thanksgiving? All right, there you have it. He's thankful for us. And how about you? What are you thankful for there, Mr. Oh, my Aaron? goodness. You know what I'm thankful for? I'm thankful for the opportunity to be behind a microphone for 17 years. I've, I enjoy every minute of it. Family, I'm just going to say in general, because, Chief, you touched on it. Family can be defined in many different ways as to what is a family for people. Your brother. Um, and whether it's my personal family, my wife, my kids, my dad, and that family, or this family sitting here, it is fun to have family around because you know family has your back. Oh, yeah. And that's always a great feeling. With that, I'm going to remind everybody at the top of the hour, noontime Pacific, join me on Aaron's Hour. My special guest, Mystic Mona, will be back in studio to give you your mini reading. If you'd like to have a question or want to know kind of what's down the road for you, check it out, call in, or maybe some of these folks here in the, in the uh, studio may stick around for that. I'm Aaron Phillips. Want to remind you, be kind to everybody. Why is that? We'll all have. We'll see you next week right here on Thoughts Count Anywhere. Woo! Seriously, because of all the spirits.